Okay. Set the timer. Save complete. Mm, pizza. <clears throat> Alright, we've got Metators. It watches the nasty Navi with ears in its eyes. There are Metators over there, but they are dangerous. They're quiet and shy and try not to disturb them. Let's try not quiet. Enough about the Metators. I gotta get to work. These ones aren't quiet, though. We're just gonna murder these ones. Huh? I came for a Metator village treasure, but this is it. I take it you're looking for the treasure, too. What a letdown. All I found is this piece of data. I'm so annoyed, so just take it. <clears throat> I have data. Hey, want to delete some Metators to let off some steam? Just look around. They're so scared. I know they're viruses, but they're not hurting anyone. Huh? There are Navi in here protecting viruses? What the? It's our job to delete viruses, pal. Maybe viruses, but what you're talking about is plain bullying. No, it's, it's called antivirus. <laughs> it's called doing your job. You disgust me. Either you're with them, or I delete you along with them. Yeah, I mean, by dis by, by definition, they're like bad if they're, they're viruses. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> He's got a question mark over his head. So am I gonna hit him before he moves? The answer is no. Oh no. Must be a manager. It's always clueless. Perhaps it's, it's happy because its helmet is askew. It seems Metator has removed their helmets if they're relaxed. Have, has there ever been a Metator or Metor, whatever the hell they pronounce their name, without a helmet? What, what would that even look like? Swing their pickaxes and joy. So you be an expression of gratitude. <sighs> Alright, let's murder these ones. <laughs> Level those ones are perfectly fine, but these ones, I okay, can't just kill them. These ones deserve to die. I wonder if there's AI-powered viruses out there. Those would be scary. There is, yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. It, like, actively dodges, like, the antivirus measures. Yeah, AI-powered antivirus would make sense.
I guess by definition, it'd be kind of hard to have an AI powered virus because, like, how big would that virus have to be to have, like, all the. the code necessary to have an AI, right? So, using dictionaries, text code using ML. Machine learning. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. If you, you kind of figure out, like, viruses are doing something, like, really, like, just out of the ordinary. Just trying to access, like, certain files and stuff. You can see stuff, like, trying to access things that it shouldn't. Instead of just looking for a specific, like, signatures, you're just... It's like, hmm, something's doing this thing that sh doesn't normally do this kind of thing. Yeah, it's a bit closer computers, yeah. Yeah, I guess, I mean, if, if, you had, if you had a virus that just, like, made an external call to an AI thing, but of course that, a that virus would, would not be able to be self-contained, right? It still needs access to an external source. Exactly, yeah. <clears throat> It'd be a lot easier to spot. It's like, hmm, this thing's trying to access this exact site. Block that site, boom, virus done. Yeah, this is my data. Good work. Thanks for completing my request. You saved me. All right, preliminary's done. Oh well, we did all three tasks. Well done. We cleared the preliminaries. Yeah, we did it, Mega Man. We made it through. Now please go to the Den Dome for the tournament finals. As a contestant, you can enter by the staff entrance. Once inside, follow the instructions given by the staff. Good luck. Den Dome. Mega Man, let's try real hard in the tournament finals. Sure. Where's Den Dome? Is that a different area? Get there in the metro line, yeah. To the metro! <laughs> Windows is not a virus. Virus is small and efficient. Now, yeah. Windows is just malware. Windows is bonsai buddy. You cleared the preliminary? Nice. No way I could. So you're taking the metro line dendome? Cool. Yep, Bonsai Buddy is your friend. We're already halfway through the game. We've got, we've got three places unlocked. There's <laughs> two more. Nice priced juice, just 60 zennies. That's an unusually good price. A bit too cheap, though. It's just colored water. Trash for empty drink cans. There's other trash in there too. That's no good. Not good at all. Hot dog. It's a very odd looking hot dog. Wow, it's crowded. I've never seen density this excited before. Tasty hot dogs just at the top of the stairs. Jeppa dogs. Made with a pink bun and some purple mustard. <laughs> At the top of the Den Battle Tournament stairs. Some people came by bike. You can't park here. Clearly says no bikes allowed. 
Blistering Battle, Net Battle Tournament. Can't you just feel the excitement? Being in a crowd like this really gets me pumped up. Anyway, what are we going to see? Crowd. Uh, lady, uh, you might want to get take your medicine if you think this is a crowd. Public entrance. <clears throat> I'm going to cheer for the coolest Navi I see today. It's hot dog chain Vancouver. Oh yeah. What's so special about the dogs? Like the different condiments they use on there. Throw some ramen in there. <laughs> You're How about a nice hot dog beforehand? Can't battle an empty stomach now. <laughs> Those things sound a hot dogs cooking. Mm. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm eating already, because those do look good. <laughs> Cheap tonkatsu, yakiniku and yakisoba, bacon cheese, cilantro dog, croquette dog, chicken karage, love meat. I don't know if I want to eat something called love meat. The seven physical locations, yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna be Richmond, Richmond, Surrey, Vancouver. <clears throat> where's my where's my Japa dog in in Ottawa? This means you can jack into it for maintenance. Let's jack into the hot dog. Got to maintain those hot dogs. It's a good thing that uh, you know. He became popular. It's nice when you have, like, success stories like that. Hey kid, my hot dogs are really good. Use only the choice, the choicest hot dogs. Give them a try. HP memory, nice. Yep. <laughs> When you're when you're chowing down on that love meat. Damn it. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
I guess I just hop between those two, so... Oh! Run away! If <laughs> it's Lady Love Me. It's like you really don't, don't want to know where the what, what's in this hot dog. <laughs> this hot dog looks a little different. Yeah, yeah, don't ask. Ah, uh, this sucks. Way too much damage there. Good. <laughs> Put some of it back. Spicy cheese. Terry mayo. Terry mayo, is that like teriyaki and mayo? <laughs> With some spicy cheese. I would definitely try it. Got one of them at least. Screw this area. I'm trying to get some of these cards, but nah. Not worth it. German staff and con contestant entrance. <laughs> hey, no pushing. Got all plenty of time. Looks like these stands are totally full already. Darn. Not battling, but I'd like to find a good seat. Man, I'm tired of waiting in line. I don't mind waiting, so long as it's it's for fun. Yeah, it gets kind of annoying having to dodge, especially when you have all these enemies that just literally teleport everywhere. It's trying to hit them, like trying to time all your attacks, and they just dodge out of the way. It's like, ugh. And everything's so tanky. I guess you get the right chips, you're just spending a lot of time just waiting for your stuff to regenerate. Like, I'm already, like, five hours in the game, I, I, I have yet to even find any stat gains, like attack increase, speed increase, charge increase, like, none of that. Your contestant, take the stairs to the waiting room. Official be will meet you there. I mean, it's so tempting to just turn on the stupid Buster Max mode. It's like, screw this. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn on easy mode. It's like you can jack in. It's a big ass uh, machine. Love of every Jack and area is exactly the same too. I keep the cold drinks. Ice, ice, ice cold, baby. Phew, ice, ice, baby. Ugh, God, kill it now. My job is to dispense the ju juice for the customers. Come one, come all. Choose a juice, and I'll dispense it. Yeah, probably. Keep the hot drinks hot, 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 baby. Oh, yeah. Phew, that's hot, baby. <laughs> We're gonna get free drinks. I mean, the, those things often rip you off anyways, so...
No. Give it. I was paid for a drink and got ten. Got the drink button until the light went off and release it quickly and press button again. You could cycle it. Wow, it's crazy. It's a bit of a design flaw. That's the thing with like a lot of those machines, they were, you know, they weren't electronic, they were just physical machines, so with a little bit of tolerances that they had. <clears throat> you probably just just get to that point where, you know, does stuff like that. These water based You're not. I feel like trying to hit that thing with a... Super complicated one trying to be fancy. Get all the drinks lined up in the window so you can see them. The bell elevated. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing those. <laughs> it's just... It's like... A little too... A little too fancy. But yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> it's just like getting those... Those machines that, uh, you know, something gets caught, like the edge of, of a bag of chips or a, ch a chocolate bar, something like it gets caught, and then it just keeps advancing and advancing, and then, you know, it, it gives up because, like, oh, there's probably nothing in here. So you have, like, three or four of them, and you just <laughs> let's take a chance to see if I can get, like, if I can get a jackpot and get, like, four of these. Those are the best. Yeah, exactly. They're not really that old. I mean, you still see those everywhere. Bubbler pee. If your pee is bubbling, then you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There are lots of empty cans thrown away here. I always see them tons still. Oh, Vancouver, of course, is a little... You gotta, you gotta keep up with the Joneses and get all these fancy machines instead. Card reader for the waiting room. Looks like it's made so you can jack in, but there is a cover to stop anyone from doing so. What, a physical protection from jacking in? Yeah, let's just have some trash bags just on the edge here. This is non-burnable garbage. It's carefully divided up, so that's how it should be. Something written on this memo paper. Lotto number 46292983. They need to write this down. <laughs> Two-car parking garage sells for 750000 Jesus. Yeah, no kidding. Windows 7, or Windows 7, Windows 11. I don't want to open like 50 things when I just want to open up a damn notepad. Hmm. 4, 6, 2, 9, 2, 9, oops, 8, 3. That I'll need this number, but... Oh, I believe it. I definitely believe it. Especially downtown or something like that. 
like premium space. Could use the contestants' lockers as they're locked. It's in the name almost. Yeah, I know, right? Wish I had the kind of money to throw away. <laughs> I love how they just have this, the garbage just laying around, all these bags of garbage. Like, I think they would have no, put this outside somewhere, not in the in the waiting room. Tournament card, but the pairings aren't up yet. Yeah, that, that would definitely do it. Just the cost of parking downtown is stupid. Like, a couple hundred bucks, like you're probably paying, paying 500 bucks a month <laughs> for, for parking for parking downtown. It's like, it's absolutely stupid. A dedicated parking spot? Nice. Lots of bags on the desk. You must look after your valuables in places like this. Yeah. <laughs> Just rifle through the bags. That adds up, though. If you're working like an average of like, you know, 20 days a, uh, 20 days a month. That's like 200 bucks right there for parking. So it definitely adds up. More chairs. They're all folded up neatly. Something's flashing among the chairs. Nice. What are we up to for regular memory now? We're up to 10. Uh, let's see. We could have wide shot. That's probably a good thing to have as a starting one. Binder. Yeah, it's true. have your match yet. It is now. Welcome to the Net Battle Tournament. You're the last to clear the preliminaries. Huh? I'm the last? I didn't realize it was that close. Now without further ado, I can announce the pairings for the tournament finals. Over here, please. We'll fight Chode. Yeah, exactly. Definitely not worth it. <laughs> Look carefully and remember who you're competing against. Good luck. I mean, ugh, I would hate having to travel four hours <laughs> through four hours of uh, commuting to get to work. That'd be the worst. Like, luckily for my job, like we got, I got a company vehicle. My work starts when I leave my house, so I don't have to like travel somewhere for work. Like, I'm literally like driving from my house to you know the sites, right? Well, I, I know what you mean, but still, it's four hours total per day. That that, that would suck. <laughs> I, I know it's not, especially during rush hour traffic. Yeah, that, that'd be pretty standard. I know here, like, here would be easy an hour rush hour traffic. You're going from one end of town to the other. <clears throat> be Guts Man or be Flame Man? Why not both? Well, because my, my work, like, I, you know, I, I, I'm field IT, so I drive to places to repair their stuff, right? So, for me, like, the driving time, like, I'm not going to go downtown to, you know, our office and then leave to go to that site. If there's a site nearer to me, near where I live, well, you know, I'm right there. I'm five minutes away from it, right? And it's a company vehicle, so... 
it's a win-win. Let's see, our next opponent is Ponta. What a cute name. Yeah, it doesn't sound very strong. Still, be careful, you can't judge a Navi by its name. Ponta. Mega Man, let's go full bore. Let's go full bore Jack in real hard this time. Of course. Bro. Yeah, that would suck. Green <clears throat> office, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure some places definitely do that, where, like, they start your work at, like, the office. Or you have to, like, get, you know, they leave the, the company vans at the office kind of thing. Like, here, you know, we keep the vans with us. But yeah, I definitely, there's definitely some there, like, the company vans stay at the office, and you have to go to the office, your personal vehicle or whatever. I mean, it definitely adds up. You have, you know, company van that you're using instead. That that definitely uh, a big thing. Yeah, that that sounds like bullshit. Isn't time for your match yet? Why isn't it time for my match? So you're in the tournament. Oh. Do you think that you can handle your fellow competitors? He brought, brought in a picture of his eight new ATVs about himself? Wow. That's stupid. Yeah, that's... Wow, that's just... <laughs> like, hmm, this doesn't seem skeevy at all. Yeah, I wonder why, right? Plan. Hmm? Plan. Plan, I heard it too. What is it? How freaky. Where's that voice coming from? It's inside your own head. So I introduced the bonus program. Yeah, how, how would the how the bonus program ever like <laughs> replace the the if, you're, if they're cutting people's paychecks? Like, <laughs> you're pretty sure you're not getting bit more back in this so-called bonus than you're getting from the cut paycheck. Reward us for working harder. Just played it up and sneaks the very end. We're cutting salaries to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good way to, to have everybody leave your company. <laughs> yeah. What utter bullshit. Hehe, <laughs> did I surprise you? How did you get here? Hey, Lan, you're Mega Man's operator, aren't you? Yeah, so? I'm Ponta's operator, Yuko. Ponta? So you're our next opponent? That's right. I've always wanted to do net battle with a strong... Nice, handsome Navi, like a Mega Man. Uh, she needs an adult. I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> I think you may be overestimating me a bit. Tee hee, you're making me blush. Right, Mega Man? Huh? Oh, yeah, right. Hey, Lynn, you have time to spare before the match? Let's go hang out. Uh, sure, I don't have any plans or anything. Let's go. Yeah, I'll be waiting. She's like five. <laughs> Huh? Six months after you all quit and got together for barbecue dinner, a bunch of drinks lugged in their licensing system. <laughs> We're changing the passwords. Wow. That's awesome. That's crazy, right? It's <laughs> awesome. Just nerds, or am I getting a little tired? Man. Yeah? What is it, McMahon? Where do I put this? I don't know for sure, but I've got a strange feeling about that girl. There's something about her that's the same as me. Same as you? What do you mean? Never mind. Sorry for talking nonsense. Anyway, let's go. Yuko is waiting for us outside. Three windows until the new version came out. All the windows keys. Oh, 
mean, Windows is practically free as it is anyways, so... Jeez, 200. Just a few Windows keys. If the crowd goes in, I can take a break. Gotta keep an eye on things. So begin. Can't wait to see Navi's come out. There she is. What took you so long? Sorry. What did you want to do? Let's play tag. You're it. Ugh. Why do they need to pad this game more? Oops, you're on. Great, now we gotta go find her, right? <clears throat> is this necessary at all? <laughs> this is not necessary at all. Let's just not go right into the terminals. Just have this pointless, like, cutscene. Hey, Land, I'm over here. <sighs> she sure has a lot of energy. She's like a little sister or something. <laughs> yeah. And you got mail. It's from Mom. I'll read it. And someone's here to see you. Come back home. That's all. Someone to see me? Oh well. I'll just tell you go and head back home for a bit. Yeah, I know, right? I can see why this one's so highly regarded. Sorry, Yuko. I got something I need to take care of. No problem. I'll see you in the battle then. All right. No matter who wins, let's play again afterwards, okay? Sure. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, it's the way I'm doing three playthroughs of this thing. Five six where they finally go over the where the obnoxious gimmick bosses. Yeah. Name is Lan, right? That's right. Um, I'm Yuko's father. Yuko's. You saw her, right? Huh? Ah, excuse me, Lan. What was Yuko like? Was she having fun or was she bored? She was having fun. She was really looking forward to our battle, just as I feared. This is bad. Very bad indeed. What's wrong? It's, um, how do I put this? Yuko has a special power. You'll see what I mean when you go to the net. He has the ability to summon Navi Ghosts. Navi Ghosts? The residual memory of Navis ha have been deleted. Can't see them. Some of them are evil, like ghosts. Yuko does that? Wow. The net battle has her thinking about the net. This has the strange effect of causing ghosts to appear. The Navi ghosts are popping all over the net now. Not many people are aware of what's happening yet, but unless something is done, things will get out of hand fast. <laughs> I'll do something about it, sir. Huh? I played with Yuko a little bit. And she seemed almost like a little sister to me. So I guess I just gotta take her out. Man? My big brother passed away when I was little. So, so I'm used to having... Siblings pass away, so I can handle this. <laughs> but if I had a chance to play with them, it would have been just like that. Playing with Yuko made me feel that way. That's why I feel like I've got to do something. If something bad's happening because I because of her, I'll fix it up. I'd usually ask the officials to handle it, but okay. You better be careful. These navvies are invisible. Why did this guy come to our house, by the way? <laughs> to tell us this. Why didn't he just not go to the tournament or whatever? Like This makes no sense. Here, you can have this. Sib Christ and Sib Sutra. Great, give us a Kama Sutra. You can use this Sib Christ to find invisible navvies. And the navvy ghost is far away, it'll be blue. It'll turn yellow if a ghost is detected. Or red if the ghost is near. If the Sib Christ turns red, check the area carefully. You can bet the navvy ghost will make its presence known. And just use this Sib Sutra and the ghost will move on. I got it. Sounds good, Mega Man. Of course. Navi ghosts are beginning to appear in the net. Apparently, four of them are evil Navi ghosts. 
can get these four to move on to the next world, the outbreak should settle down. Not that even the good ghosts want to go to the next world. They'll appreciate your navy performing a Sib Sutra. Weyland, please try to find those four evil navvies. How does he know this for them? Like, how does any of this make sense? Oops, the sweets I put out for the customer are gone. I guess I'll have to make some more. What customers? Um, every, every she definitely has a side job with her quote-unquote customers when dad's away. I don't know what my mom does, but we don't want to know. Make sense of any any battle network plot. It's definitely a mistake. All right, so it turns yellow means we're getting close. It turns red means there's one nearby. Someone's trying to talk to me just now, but nobody was there. I really wonder who it was. Was it a g, -g, g ghost? There's definitely one in that square there. I think I'm being watched, but there's nobody here. Must be nerves. See me, right? Perfect. I'm through here. Can you please send me on? Big man, use the Sib Sutra. Roger. Um, dot com slash slash period exclamation. Is that it? Yahoo! Thank you. We've got the issue TPS. Big man, what are you doing? Keys to world-ending software programs hidden in your mom's oven. They had like 12-year-olds who run net mafias in conditions that guarantee extreme severe radiation poisoning somehow both are things that make more sense. That is true. He looks surprised, like, oh my god, what is that? Hold on a minute. You won't beat me that easily. Take this.
Oh well, I'm tired of this world anyway. Mega Man, use the Cyber Sutra. Roger. Page up, page down, space, space, return, return. Is that it? Is there gonna be, there gonna be a Konami code? One of these is gonna be the Konami code, I guarantee it. Oh well, it wasn't a bad life. There's a really scary looking navvy behind that net dealer over there, but it vanished. Order books. I just can't stop shivering. I got a bad feeling. get all three, but not going to be easy. Well, those things just, like, turn around. Send me to Cyber Heaven. HTTP colon slash slash. Now if he's ghost, drop something. 3,000 bucks. Sweet. Yeah, for some reason your dad's like some sort of like, you know, scientist who develops like these these pet systems, and they call him in to save the Earth from this this asteroid that's hurtling towards it. Because you know that'd be the first scientist I would look to is some dude who creates electronics. It's like yeah, you know, to totally totally legit. Had to dodge. I'm assuming that can be on like people's home pages. More of those sheep. More sheep.
No, I still haven't gotten like a, one like attack up ability. Like I don't know if the game wants you to get those cards. Like it feels it feels like the game's really skimping out on like upgrades. And they, they really want you to get these these stupid cards. Cause it feels like I'm not leveling up at all. Like I'm getting HP up and like uh, the regular uh, attack up, but I'm not getting any attack up, any speed up, any charge up, anything like that. But even these, like, what do these really give you? Because some of these, like, set your Mega Buster's attack to 10. It's <laughs> about the closest thing, right? There's a Barrier 100 applied, there's a Bind Effect. Unfortunately. Change my charge tax. He's not playing nice, I'm just gonna give myself a boost. I'm a Navi, I would enter the tournament, but but what? Out of town. I want to do more mischief. Why don't you go to the next world? What do you think you're doing? Mega Man, use the Slave Sutra. Alright, here I go. Tab, tab, shift, function, print, print. Is that it? What are you talking about?
don't really ever get S ranks in these stupid meta bots, meta tours or whatever. Come on, there's gotta be one nearby. <laughs> it's red. I'm impressed, you actually found me. I'm done with this world. Can you send me to the next? Corner mouse click, click, double click. Is that it? A good life with no regrets. Bug rag. I'm getting low on health here. Game's like, I got you. Wait to see just which navvies have entered. I'm so excited. Stupid dodging thing. down. Not done messing around. Stay out of my way. <clears throat> God, these things are the worst. enemies. Five health, Jesus. <laughs> Fine, I'll do my mischief in the next world. Do it now, Mega Man. Sub Sutra. Hard disk, hard, hard disk, drive, drive, loading. <laughs> We're just throwing a bunch of, like, computer terms. Just, like, throw all these computer terms together. That'll make sense. the big green circle. Thank you. I need that help. Super surprised there's none there.
Who the heck are you? How can you see me? Is that the Sib Sutra? You're kidding me. The other one is going to get deleted. One of these things if you know what a Sib Sutra is. Oh god. Oh god. It's pulling me towards it. Dang, no way. Here's your chance, Mega Man. Do the Sib Sutra. Leave it to me. Input, output, install, uninstall. Is that it? No, it's not it at all. I'll get you for this. Oh, right. That's the last of the evil navvies. Mega Man, you can check out any time now. Not done finding the not evil navvies. Jobs to prevent accidents during the tournament. Everyone in the tournament looks really good. I wanted to be in the Den Battle Tournament. here somewhere. So you found me at last. Hurry up and send me on. Floppy M-O-C-D-D-V-D. -D -D. Check the middle of ACDC Town Park. Hmm. Middle of Town Park, he says. Is Ken Time Bomb K Some HP memories? I like this binder one. Let's go to that. Ah. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the A one. I was trying making a cannon combo here. Get that A B C or whatever cannon combo. Program Advance, whatever the hell they called it. Alright, just wonder if there's any more of these guys. I don't know if there is.
I'm a junk dealer from Yumland. It's like something is my way here. It's the reason I do business in the back alleys. Look, I smuggled, uh, imported this from Yumland. The board part for 2000 Zenny, okay? Board part? Sure. Well, thanks. Pick that up in Sharo. Maybe it'll come in handy for you. What the hell's a board part? It's not a chip. I'm in the shape of a board. I wonder what it is. I mean, no. Probably traded for something. Still haven't found unlockers for these things. Treasure. Yeah, music is definitely good in this game. I don't know how it would sound on the GBA if they like improved it in any way for the uh, the collection. I'm sure it probably sounds a little bit better than it did on the GBA, but. GBA sound chip is... Uh, it exists. Alright, I think we're done with those ghosts. Alright, so we need to go see that middle of the... the park. Under bomb E, nice. What I'm using right now is my charge one. <laughs> e though, I don't have any other E's. I hate having ones off. I can't combine them. If it's something like boomerang, sure. Because that one will hit like a bunch of dudes, so it's worth it. I mean, this boomer thing is useless, so. This binder or whatever it is. It's probably better than that anyways. Yeah, are we in a tournament? <laughs> Seems to be a lot of like sidetracking to for the first round of the tournament. And it's done. Looks like the Navi Ghosts are all gone. And the match is about to begin. All oh, right, Yuko's waiting for us. To the Den Dome, Mega Man. Roger. Plan. Thank you for taking care of my daughter, Yuko. Please give her an excellent battle. Huh? Uh, sure, of course. Welcome back, Set. How was the walk? Ten Mega Man form designs throughout the series. Black Ace, Gengar, Beast, Bowser, Beast, Red Joker, everything else. And I'm doing a tournament. Well, <laughs> it doesn't look like I'm doing a tournament because I'm just doing a whole bunch of like side quests. Because that's, you know, or side quests. S side activities is the game's like, oh no, you can't start your tournament until you go defeat these ghosts. It's like, what? What did you decide? Alright, let's go beat up a little girl. She's going down.
Yep. It's always fun. It's always fun. You have to, like, balance, you know, enjoying work with making money. <laughs> you need to pay the bills, but... You pretty much have to get, like... Early on in life, you pretty much have to get experience and stuff, and then eventually get to the position you want. When you have, you know... You have the money. Then you can enjoy... Yeah, no, streaming is definitely not a way to make money. <laughs> a very small percentage of streamers ever could, could ever get to the point where they can make a living wage out of streaming. Much less, you know, good money, right? Last, everyone, the competitors are finally here. First, we have the grade school net battler plan. Uh, not much. <laughs> not much at all. Like, this is definitely a hobby for me. I'm definitely spending more than making when it comes to streaming. Well, I don't know if spending more, but... I mean, if you, if you can't collecting all the games, that's more of a collection thing on the side. I mean, it pays for the internet, <laughs> pretty much. That's about it. Can I just get promoted? Yeah. I've got a house, but I mean, I I got I got my like I wouldn't call it my nine to five, but I got my main job that pays for all the bills. This is just like me, you know, doing stuff in my off time. And his opponent, she's young, but she's got the skill. Please welcome Yuko. I, I work IT, field IT. Huh, Yuko, she's dead. Oh, there she is. Well, how did you? Hee <laughs> hee, it's time, Lan. Another totally unpredictable entrance. I'll go easy on you, Yuko. Of course not. I thought she was a ghost all along. Yeah, it depends on the week. Some weeks I get like three days off, some weeks I get two days off. Depends if I'm working a ten hour day. I mean, usually when I'm working, I'm usually... Usually working like... Definitely gets OT and stuff like that, and... The shift schedules are kind of all over the place. Especially, like, you know, new new people starting and other people, you know, leaving and that kind of stuff. So definitely no, like, static schedule for streaming, especially. It's usually, like, whenever I can. Here, what's my schedule next week? Yeah, it's standard. Yeah, so, like, next week, I, I'm, next week I'm working 10-hour days, so I got three days off at the end of the week. Like Thursday, Friday, Saturday off, which should be nice. Yep. <laughs> I usually get at least like one weekend day off, and then usually I get like, you know, let's say if I'm, I got Saturday off, I'll have Friday off, or if I have, you know, Sunday off, I'll have Monday off kind of thing. It's very rare that we get like two days off on the weekend. So for me, my weekend just kind of shifts constantly. <laughs> Sometimes I get some days off in the middle of the week. It's it's all over the place. Land versus Yuko. Battle routine set. Execute. This must be my, my last battle. Here I go, Ponta. Yep, she's definitely going to be a ghost. Yeah, pretty much. This is This is the fun, though. Even though I'm like, if you, if you consider, if, if I would consider this work, I would definitely be working a lot of hours every week. But yeah, you know, consider this like, so this is the hobby. This is like the relaxing stuff. You know, like on work days, I do everything else too. Like after work, I do all the other stuff I need to do. So my days off are usually just I can just stream. <laughs> that's that's pretty much all I need to do on on days off. Get to relax. I don't know what the question mark thing is. Yeah, but I really hate when they just teleport. It makes it really hard to figure things out. I 
Oops. This should hurt if I can hit him. Yeah, beat up another little girl. Wanta deleted. Lynn is the winner. And now she's gone. You were amazing, Yuko. Hee <laughs> hee, I lost, but that was fun. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you for not going easy on me. What, she's a ghost all along? Yuko? I I have to go. Go where? What's wrong with Yuko? I'm sorry, Lynn. I'm sorry for not telling you earlier. It happened a long, long time before you were born. I I died. No. It's true. That's why all the Navi ghosts appeared in the net. It's because I came back to this world. You sent all those Navis on the next world, didn't you? Thank you, Lan. I finally had my chance to go against nice, strong, and handsome opponents like you and Mega Man. Wait, no, don't go, Yugo. <laughs> oh, everybody else is calm. It's like, oh, the guy's just like, oh, this is normal. Wh what? Yuko. Thank you, Lan. Farewell. Yuko. Watch me, Yuko. I'll win this tournament. I promise. Yeah. It's one thing if this is happening on the net or something like that, but no, like in, in the quote unquote real world, you got this friggin' like ghost girl that's just showing up and doing a net battle tournament. And I'll be watching. I'll always root for you, Lan. It's like, yeah, this is normal. Good luck. He's gone. Lan. <laughs> I promised. Mega Man, we just gotta win this tournament. I mean, to be fair, we got like a friggin' our, our, our twin brother or whatever is our like net navi, you know? <laughs> how, how much weirder can you get? I mean, that at least has some plausibility where, you know, you can transfer their consciousness into, like, you know, a computer, but an, an actual ghost thing? <laughs> that's that's a little out of plausibility range. You know it. No problem. What's going on? I'm so confused. Congratulations on winning the round one. Good luck in the next battle. Yeah, we're totally not going to have to do a side mission next battle. You are really tiny, or we're really high up. This this, this seems unsafe. <laughs> yeah, Mega Man Battle Network gets weird. All the battles from round one have been completed. All right, who are we gonna fight? I can now announce the battle results. Please look at the tournament board. Results. Is it gonna be Gutsman? It's gonna be Gutsman. Yep, Gutsman. Then we're gonna have to fight whatever that. That yellow one is there in the other team, the other bracket. Developers Dex Navi Gutsman. We can't afford to lose, Mega Man. Gotcha, Lan. I'm afraid it's not that easy. Of course not. What would it be? Dex. Does he not have soles at the bottom of his feet, by the way? <laughs> when he's walking, like, I can see the soles of his feet through his shoes. Sorry, but I'm gonna beat you this time. There's no way I'd lose. Big brother! Chisau. Hey, Chisau. Rude not to say hi. Why should I say hi? He's a big brother's enemy. I don't talk to a dead enemy. That's what I'd expect from Dex's little brother. So feisty. Hey, don't get all chummy with me. Listen up. Big Brother's gonna beat your pants off. Big Brother's gonna the best net battler in ACDC town in density. Hey, Chisau. Would you shut up already? Big Brother's mad at me. 
Ah. Get out of here, Giselle. Giselle. Sorry about this for a battle. I'm not gonna lose today. I'm gonna prove I'm the best in ACDs to town by beating you. I'm not gonna hold back. It'll be a good battle. Yep. Better get ready. Giselle. So Giselle's the reason Dex can't lose. Still, we'll fight with all our might. Let's do it. Yeah. Yep, yeah, getting a thousand viewers daily is uh, <laughs> not an easy feat. It's not an easy feat unless you have like a plunging neckline and uh, <laughs> and a hot tub. <laughs> yes, he was. <sighs> now we gotta do a side thing before we can actually do the ma the the mission plan. Giselle's missing. We gotta go find him, right? Dex, what's wrong? Heh. <laughs> Have you seen Giselle around? Not around here. Maybe. He's disappeared. I thought he'd be around here, but... You don't think he's been kidnapped? Chill, Dex. It's not... Yep, he's been kidnapped. It's from an anonymous sender. I'm gonna read it. Left Giselle. If you want him, back. Accept my challenge. So he was kidnapped. This is terrible. My luck's run out. Chisau, where are you? I'll read some more. I've prepared several clues that lead to my location. Use them to find me. If you fail, Chisau forfeits his life. Eh, oh well. Forfeits his life? Mega Man, where are the clue the kidnappers mentioned? Whoever did this is gonna pay. Relax, Dex. The mail also says there is one condition. Only land can accept this challenge. No one else interferes. The hostage dies. What, me? God, yeah. <laughs> so many difficult to twitch. Yep, pretty much. Land, you gotta help. Save Chisau. If something were to happen to him, I... Please help. The last time chill, Dex. I'm gonna find him. Freaking out just makes things worse. Sorry. Make man, read the rest. Okay, it says here is the first clue. Omicure la nu distance uh as no uh, old man in square. Alright, old man square. Top to bottom. Yeah, thanks, I didn't need that. <laughs> figure this out, we'll be revealed. Old man in square. And to top to bottom, what does that mean? Don't talk like that, Lan. Please help. Don't worry, I will. I gotta figure out the clue first. I love how they tell us I have mail after they read out the mail during the cutscene. It's like, oh, here's the exact same mail. Assuming the square in the left town. Oops. And every time that car comes towards us, I'm like, wow. Um, there's no old man here. Is he on top? Oh, there he is. Hey, you got a blue bandana. I think I've got something for you. I also have to give this to a kid with a blue bandana. There you have it. Lexic, you're in some hot water. Ugh, good I said that. I said I'd keep it quiet. Don't mind me. Now, no, sir. Hmm. Say, nice weather today, huh? Hmm. 
the in <laughs> in town area three the green navi is I wonder what the heck it means. Here, go into the net again. Probably faster going through the uh, TV. Wasn't this one? It was. It was the uh, computer down there. I think one of these places had access to the net. Depends how cold it is. <laughs> Going outside here today would be like, nah. Alright, Green Navy. Once the round one is over, things get exciting. Yeah, definitely better than here for sure. Okay, I mean, he's green. This guy. What? Am I holding anything for you? Actually, a strange navy came and left this here with us. Some odd data that I can't read. Hint data. Is this a new game? I don't think so. There's next. Get him. Hint data. Might try looking in inside the vase of flowers. You might try looking inside the vase of flowers. Where is the vase of flowers? In a square spiral. I mean, I've already figured it. <laughs> Still, I don't know where, which which vase of flowers. It's a lot of potential vases.
looking for a vase of flowers. I don't think there's any here. Probably inside mom's house. Wasn't there like a, some flowers that she like? It's like these almost look real. Mom, you're in the way. Mom, you're in the way. Simple flower arrangement, but it seems almost alive. It's mom's way. It's clearly not that one. Then I just saw you on television. I'm cheering you on. Hmm. Well, that's so much for my first idea. Vases of flowers. Molecos. Mag bolt one D. Vase of flowers. <laughs> this may look like I mean Yai's house if anything then. Uh, let's see vases of flowers. The only vase of flowers is mom's house, but something in the arena. place that had a vase of flowers doesn't have it. There's like a basket of flowers there, but can you can go there. Again. Flowers are in full bloom, fighting for splendor. Hmm, not really anything to help in Chisau's trail. Still, it's hard to imagine it was moved. No more clues? This is totally not a vase of flowers. <laughs> the bouquet basket. Help! Help! I'm at the park squit. The park squirrel. They just stuffed inside of the squirrel. I don't have any kind, of, any kind of tournament, but the battles here are really worth seeing. the wheel of life, unfortunately. We all get old. The older you get, less and less people, you know, will still be around, but 
is the wheel of life. It's always sad. Something scrawled in pen on the squirrel's side. But someone tried to erase it, so you can only read bits. Electric Town Tower 2... Something Prague 3rd... Right... Anyway, Electric Tower. Yeah, well, I can see YouTubers just getting burnt out. Especially, like, when you're trying to put out content, like, daily, even weekly. I mean, there's this a lot of... You're, you're, you're spending your whole time doing that, making that content. It's just, you get burnt out. So you get, like, some of the big names, like, like MatPat, for example. Just... Retire, basically. Yeah, there's that too. That, that, that definitely doesn't help. So I definitely can't rely like any any sort of uh, online, you know, influencer style thing. You definitely can't rely on that as a as job security. That's for sure. Because when your employer kind of holds all the uh, the cards and deals them out however they wish, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, he probably has more money to retire at 37, too, so it's not like he's he's going to be hurting there, but... Better than that than going through some like drama stuff. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but it was like something third right. So it's this guy. Hello there. You're the blue navy, aren't you? I've been holding on to something for you. I'm supposed to open it right away. What could it be? It looks like a box. Careful. Okay, I'm opening it. It's Chisao's hand. I've already jumped out from the box data. Yikes. my last save. Okay. It's like they saved before putting my coins in this thing. I'm assuming this is where I had to... Uh, wait. What point did it... What, what point am I right now? Oh yeah, trying to find the vase. Not bad then. I saved before or after getting the chips. I think I saved before or after, I should say. I can really see why uh, this is the least liked <laughs> McMahon Battle Network. Like, this game is just... It's just, like, really annoying, pointless fetch quest after fetch quest. 
There's like so little in the way of actual. Like, I haven't even fought a boss yet. Have I? Other than like that, that vampire thing, which wasn't even like it, it was one of those we just have to like survive a few rounds. Yeah, but we didn't even we didn't defeat Trade Man. We literally just hit him a few times and ran away. That was it. In like six hours, I literally don't even have any sort of upgrades other than like just using my chips there. Like six hours, and I'm still at like one, one, one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. This is this is definitely like a really weak entry in the Mega Man Battle Network series. Those those are, aren't even bosses. Like you don't even get access to like Roll and Guts Man, like every other one. It feels extremely like just just pure padding. That's what it seems like it is. It's like the entire game is padding. Yeah, like the main plot's like, oh, the, the we have uh, an asteroid coming down to Earth. All right, let's just do a bunch of random shit. There's no like triple W kind of like trying to to destroy the world or some bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's true, but expect that in anime. I don't expect that in a video game. Son of a bitch. Oh, come on. Jumping enemies are by far the worst. one of the stupid jumping ones too, but... Man, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Only a diabolical mind would plant virus riddled data. I wonder if Chisau is okay. I'm worried too. 
phone. Don't tell me it's the kidnapper. Greetings. How did you like my little present? He's using a voice ordering device. Well, we know he may be a she. Why, you, let Chisau go. I will if you complete the challenge I've given you. I placed number data f from 1 to 5 across the internet. God damn it, come on. Each piece of data is guarded by evil navvies. Find them, get all the numbered data, and come to the front of the tower. Then you'll let the Chisau go, right? You have my word. By the way, the navvies guarding number data think that it's quite valuable, so they won't give it e give it up easily. Then let's get to the internet. Can't afford to waste any time. Okay, let's go. This game is just... It feels like it's just a pointless game with just a lot of padding. One of them down there. Huh, you want my data for? For real? I gotta tell you, it ain't cheap from what I hear. You can't just give it away, you know? How about a trade? Say, like, you give me a bubbler R. Sure. Don't have a bubbler R? It isn't in your folder, huh? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I think they sold one of the Navi dudes.
Well, that was easy. <laughs> Just take it. Use it to stay alive. Now we can just run. Start jacking out and then going back to my own house. So I have to go grab this. Uh, I think it was the first Navi dealer had this bubbler here, whatever. Or was it R? I don't know what. Whichever one he needed. not have the uh, code for mail's place yet. It's really weird. He was supposed to speak to her at a certain point and I missed it. Data one, fine. It's yours for a low price, one million zennies. <laughs> Just kidding. Take it. I want to pick up the cyber racetracks. I'm in a good mood. There you go. Just take it, you thief. Because the bubbler. Yeah, I think it was the R that he wanted. Hopefully, it's the R.
Can rate sucks as usual. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can get those sneaking chips or whatever. But, Cause they're not a. Uh... It's probably a purple dude in here. I mean, you get a piece of data from. Maybe not. This guy number two, because okay, good. <laughs> I didn't miss one then. One thousand zennies. Oh. All right, so be three, and then f hope I have the right chip for four. I just had to hide behind the other one. That one. Uh, this bomb. Only a 10 megabytes, eh? What should we need for those boomerangs? Oh man, the smoke hole rust is only 14. I know what I'm equipping when I get uh, 14. But did I not have a second one of these? I do. How come I did not? I don't have that equipped. These are awesome.
3. Very well, but why'd I test thy wisdom for giving over the data 3? Sure. Very well then. Question 1. What is the full name for a pet? Personal tank, perfect tag, personal terminal? Verily correct. Next question. Question 2. What statue stands in the garden of the mansion in ACDC? Uh, there's a giraffe. Verily correct. Question 3. Which is the largest electrical store in Electown? Jump on electric. <laughs> Yo, Mon electric. Question 4. What is the name of the maiden who works at Higsby's? Nanako. Question 5. What kind of stand is set up next to Dendome? Hot dog. What the fuck is this? A con convenience store? <laughs> It's a convince store. Smitted did not expect this from thou. The knight always keepeth his word. Not bad, young lad. Yes, apparently. <laughs> they, they love doing that, don't they? It's so stupid. I don't know what the damage output of this, like, this, like, charge attack is, but it seems to one-shot everything I've used it against. But, screw this game for not giving me upgrades. If not giving me upgrades, I'm using these patch cards. Even though I'm I'm not going to be, like, taking the really, like, OP over ones, like the HP ups there. I'll take a charge buff. to number four and turn this I, I really hope I have the right bubbler and otherwise I'm going to have to start grinding and I don't remember where the bubblers were that was going to be scary sick good jud judgment winning Game so good they couldn't even spell it right. <laughs> Alright, that's the dude we need to give the uh, uh is it this one? No. <laughs> I don't think either version is considered the good version. Got the item finally. I think I got too many of those. Uh... No, I guess I can have one more. Yeah, people were mentioning it's like you need to do play this thing three times to get all the souls or whatever. It's like, yeah, no. <laughs> Guess who's not going to be playing this game three times? I still haven't seen any souls. I haven't gotten to that point in the game. Other than, like, you know, the, the, the patch... Uh, the patch cards. I tried equipping a soul and I, I just died instantly because it, like, sapped my health really quick. I'm like, what just happened? What 
do you say? Okay, great. I'll take it then. I've been looking for it. <laughs> take this. All right. I should have all the datas now, I think. Where do I have to bring these datas? Forget. One, two, three, four, five. Shit, where do I have to bring these? Yeah, the front of the tower, I think. Top of the tower? This guy again? Mm. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's just an invisible thing. Well, here's the front of the tower. We got the data. Let, let Chisal go. Man, it's the phone again. He's got to. He's gonna get us to run around for another three hours. That was quick. We know you're out here somewhere. Come on out. Hehehe. <laughs> I'll give you credit for getting this far. You must face one more challenge to free Chisau. One more. I've released viruses onto the tower's control panel. If you can defeat them, I'll let Chisau go. Okay, understood. Let's do it, Mega Man. Roger. <laughs> you will free him? Of course. Here we go. Let's go all three. Oh, we defeated the viruses. Now let's just out go as you promised. Not bad at all. I will free him as per the agreement. It is almost time for your match. You have as good as lost now. So, the life of my friend's little brother is at stake. Hmm. You have already given up the match. Can't compare a match with his life. Let him go now. Very well. You still might make it back if you hurry back to Dendrome. Hurry. Yeah, that one was a long one. Just out. I mean, this one feels like it's, this one feels like it's all padding. Like, Mega Man Battle number three had, like, a lot of, like, traveling through the net, right? You get deeper and deeper into, this, into the dark net. I mean, this one might have that later on, but right now the net seems a lot more compact. Like, even, even like, let's say the, the computers of, like, the, the uh, of your friends in that are, like, a lot smaller in this one than they were in, in Mega Man Battle Network three. It feels like it's just all padding. Like, this is just the Mega Man Battle Network, the the padded game, it's just pure padding. You okay? You hurt? So I can see why this is this is like the least favorite of a lot of people. I'm okay. Where's the kidnapper? Dang, he got away. What was he trying to do anyway? as if you wanted to keep land from the match. That must be it. We still have time. I don't know, but let's get back to Dendrum as fast as we can. Okay. Five ways of thicker, yeah. Chase out. We're going back to Dendrum. Did Chase out kidnap himself?
Well, one, of course, was like, you know, the concept, and then they just improved some stuff in later versions. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm seven hours into the game. I have yet to... F uh, if it wasn't for the patch cards, I would still be, like, extremely basic, like, like no mega buster boosts or anything like that like like you pretty much need those patch cards so i imagine playing this like on the uh if you're playing this uh like in north america especially in japan they would have had access to these patch cards japan, north america didn't have access to these this would have been a very rough game playing this like originally on the game boy with no access to any of these things and that'd go for so long before you even get a, a decent buff on mega man just relying on, like, the cards coming up, right? Is it rough? Yeah, it is. It's pretty rough. <laughs> A crowd sound. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. Get on with it. Where's Lan? The match should have begun five minutes ago. Forfeit, forfeit. Wait just a little longer. I know Lan's gonna show. We can't delay the tournament any longer. Come on, you disqualified land. I'm gonna withdraw too. Really? You sure? Absolutely. Okay then. I hereby disqualify you both. Wait. <laughs> Sounds more like pain, yeah. Land and Chiselle. Sorry I'm late, Dex. But Chiselle is just fine as you can see. It's okay, go on. Big what uh sorry to woo you. I'm just happy you're okay, Giselle. Lynn, I don't know how you I'll ever be able to thank you. I owe you big time. I only did what anyone else would have do. Besides, you delayed the match for me, thanks. Let's get started. Crowd must be sick of waiting. You got it. Don't hold back just because I saved Giselle. Yeah, they're there's they're sick of waiting, guys. Just shut up and start playing. It goes without saying. I take every battle seriously. Despite the less than perfect circumstances, let's get this match going. Let's get it on. Land versus Dex. Battle routine set. Execute. You can't touch this. Alright. Get the... Super attack. Easy peasy. This man's deleted. Lan wins. I did it. He totally threw it. Dang, you're good. You beat my pants off. Let's hope not. No, that was a great battle. Sure was. Sorry, I lost your sound. I know, right? Wait all this time for like a like a ten second battle. I wanted to show you how cool I was, but. Gotta love those special chips. Special cards. Hey, I, w I went to the event and I got the special card <laughs> to throw onto my uh, onto my game. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you, get, you go to these special Mega Man Battle Network events. What's wrong, Chichao? You sick or what? I'm sorry. I wasn't really kidnapped. You weren't? What do you mean? Um, uh, the kidnapping was all my idea. I didn't want Big Brother to lose. I'm sorry. You idiot. Do you have any idea how weary Lan and I were? Apologize to Lan. I take full responsibility for my brother's actions. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Forget about it. The important thing is Chisau's okay. 
Yeah, this kid's like a genius, apparently. <laughs> He's only doing it for you. It shows how devoted he is to you. You really feel that way? I owe ya. I don't belong here with the winner. Losers must step aside. Let's go. Okay. Losers <laughs> must step aside. What a good sport. I can relate to someone like that. This night kid owed me like 2,000 bucks, though. For like having to buy these things for the, all this data that I picked up. Yeah. I was impressed with Dex's chivalry. And Gutsman's gutsy soul. Human soul is communed with Gutsman's. We got our first soul, I guess. Whatever that means. Len, you got mail. It's one thing... Because, of course, I'm playing digital version of this. There's no manual. So I have no idea what the hell these souls do. Maybe it's like a digital manual or something like that. Before you start the game. There's like nothing in here. Phew, you must be tired. Why don't you take a quick break? Change versions. I don't see any any manual anywhere. I'll boot up the gallery. This is like a manual in the art gallery or something. So much hurt. Work, but no friggin' manuals. What would they ever give you manuals in this game? No, I don't see any manuals anywhere, so. Yeah, especially this whole, like, Souls thing, like, like I don't know anything about this Souls thing that was in Mega Man Battle Network 3, and they don't explain it in the game. So they expect you to read the manual. <laughs> Maybe they'll explain it next time we have a battle or something. Double Soul. Maybe Dad's gonna explain it. Looks like Mega Man acquired a new ability. Mega Man's soul harmonized with another Navi's soul, allowing him to temporarily draw upon the Navi's strength. This is called Double Soul. Attach a training program, so give it a try. I'm putting the training program. Okay, Lynn, let's start your training. Double Soul requires the sacrifice of a compatible chip. Sacrifice? Does that mean you lose it? Correct. Right now, Mega Man can unite with Gut Soul. Gut Man's a powerful soul that destroys panels outright. Sacrifice Crackout or a similar chip to unite with that soul. Here's how to do it. First, select Crackout. Next, select the Unite command. Right, Lan. See? That's how a double chip is made. Selecting OK will now automatically activate Double Soul. Cut Soul gives plus 30 attack and none. Or to none and panel smash chips. And power attack with circle will become Guts Punch. Now rapidly pressing circle or pressing circle rapid you will activate Guts MG. Try it. Fancy. 
This level's a little... Mastering will make you stronger. However, there are a few restrictions on uniting. First, you can't sacrifice regular chips. Second, you can only unite once with the same soul in battle. Third, double soul only lasts for three turns. Consider this before using your double soul. Man, you got mail. So we've got to add a crack out to our thing and then use it as a regular... an official web manual for both collections. Oh, maybe I didn't. I didn't check like uh, in like outside of uh, of the game, like of, of the actual collection. Might be there too. Let's see. Don't see anything. <laughs> this is not built into the, the thing by itself. It's probably like a really basic, like, yeah. Here's how to use the controls. Yeah, it's super basic manual. Oh, there it is, double soul. Double souls. Our attack roll arrow trait using a chip. Restores 10% of your max HP. Search soul, gut soul. Power attack, guts punch. Non elemental and panel destruction attack chips gain additional 30 attack power. Buster rapid fire becomes guts machine gun. So, which one? Like, I guess non, non elemental is like basically everything except for like the elemental stuff, which is, yeah, pretty good, I guess. 30 attack power. Where am I going now? Go back to the waiting room. Oh, they didn't say who won the the other the tournament thing. It's obvious who's. It's not gonna be the generic dude. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you're using like a, a Vulcan or something like that, maybe I'll throw in some Vulcans. So the final battles have not been completed. Can I announce the battle? The results. Please look at the tournament board. Results. What? Is that the generic one? Who would have thought? Now we're gonna have to go run around for the next 20... Well, 20. For the next, like, two hours to get to the next match. This is our first fight with Top Man. I've not heard about this Navi before. He's beat for limbs and made it this far, so be careful. I know, I know. Let's beat this guy, Mega Man. You got it. weird-ass quest we're going to have to do now before we start this tournament. I haven't gotten any sort of... There we go. <laughs> it's like, how far do we have to go to even get a cutscene? Here we go, Kusuke. Watch this. Whoa.
Yeah, it's totally Dr. Wowie. It's a top land, how unique. Well, I mean, it's, it's literally his brother, so... Not a surprise. Got that right. Mom and Dad used to play with tops a lot when they were kids. That kid is as... That top is as tall as that kid. That kid should be staying a little further away. The thing hits him, that kid's dead. How do you like your grandpa's special cyber top, Kosuke? Not boring. Hmm? Tops are boring. They just spin. Yeah, that sounds like pretty much every kid nowadays. Kosuke. Grandpa, I'm sick and tired of all the tops and all the time. Hmm. Whoa. Uh, what's this? Then this is the work of a virus. A virus? Ah, this is the worst mistake of my whole life. Lan. Ah, let's go, Mega Man. Yeah, it doesn't feel like they did much more with this game content, though. <laughs> Legs go, yeah. It's convenient that this top has a jack and port. Sixteen hundred zennies. Oops. Hey, Trippy. What? No love for Yai? <laughs> yeah. Can I not unite that one? Can I not unite it? Because it's like. It's a like a, the registered one. Was that a thing in the manual? <laughs> Can't register. Double soul. Each soul is a particular chip type associated with. Initiate a double soul on the custom screen. Choose a chip with the same chip type as the soul you want to summon. Click the command bottom right. However, keep in mind double souls cannot be triggered by a regular chip. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't tell you that in the game. They just tell you that in the really tiny manual. And it's fine print in the manual. Alright, so no point in setting this as a regular then. Oh god. Let's keep it in case I run into it normally, but uh, I guess we'll set back our white shot as a default. I say that'd be too easy if, if you could do that. Block the other. Air hockey. Those are definitely new. There was no air hockey in the previous games. Russian Devasi types. <laughs> I 
Ricochet attack to right. Yeah, it seems like I could hit the quite a bit of the field, so should get a couple of those. Did nothing. Everything else is elemental. Let's keep getting this stupid money. <laughs> Freaking money that can spend a lot of other stuff. Getting low on health here. I don't have any way of healing. Oh. <laughs> Game's like, I gotcha. Can't leave this place, so. Should make it another save. I guess I do have a way of healing. So I'm assuming if I take one of those, uh, those patch cards that give me like a thousand health, I'll get like a positive thousand. I'm just trying to get more of these. 
because I can't get back here, I'm assuming, at least not easily. So I'm gonna try to get more of these air hockey ones. Taking a lot of freaking damage. I'm at 40 health right now. is making the top go crazy. Mega Man, we gotta beat the viruses and stop it. Got it. Let's do it, Lan. Just went right into that one. Twice. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Too dangerous. We did it! What do you think you're doing, you little punk? Aw oh, man, just when I thought we'd beat the viruses too. You should mind your own business next time. My Navi could have beaten that virus silly. Huh? You're a net battler too. Huh. I'm more than just some old geezer. Not too old to beat you youngsters. Wow. We... I guess that battle is more than just a game for the young. Hey, would you mind introducing me to your Navi? Hmm? Oh, uh, no, not now. What? Why not? Quit your yapping. I said no, and knows my answer. So scram. Bah, what's your problem? Uh, just let us see him. We have your Navi right here on the street, old man. Never you mind. My Navi's busted at the moment, that's all. It's broken. What's with the look of pity? It's not a major problem. T T Tidsuke, you gotta find a gold bug for me. Yeah. What's this? Get out of here, you. A gold bug. You're talking about the prelim. It ended a long time ago. Okay, so get yourself some rest. Ah. Uh, it's fine during the battle, but it hits me after it's over. You can take a look if you want me to. What? No, forget about it. I can't show you my busted Navi. It'd be too embarrassing. Why? 
Or why is it broken anyway? Hmm. A makeshift Navi, so it's always broken. Makeshift? You made it by yourself? You got a problem with that? No, no problem. Oh, so why the same? Huh. All I've done for 50 years is make tops. I made this Navi secretly for something to talk to my grandson about. So, you got a problem with that? But it keeps breaking down all the time. You have a friend who, or somebody who owns, who knows Navi's? The old folks home does have a net battle club, but they won't have anything to do with me. Bah, duck on it. Why won't they have anything to do with you? I've been a top maker for 50 years. I always said that net battles were for children. That must be why. So why don't you just apologize? Like, net battles are just for children, says the, the person who makes children's toys. Net battles are a lot funner when you enjoy them with friends. Nonsense. Ha. Huh. Whatever happens, I'm still a master top craftsman. Ha. Huh. I won't just apologize like it was nothing. Ha. Huh. Shut up. He looks busy. I'll just have to fix it. This is hard to do by myself. First, I have to buy all the chips and parts. Nah. What a stubborn old man. Nope, he just won't show us his navy. Hey, Lan, the old man forgot his top. Ah, oh, you're right. I guess we can just jack into it whenever we want. I'll have to give it back to him. Now we gotta go chasing around the world trying to find this old man. some of these. Let's buy one. There's no two ways about it. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Excuse me. Huh? Who's there? Did I just see you? You're the brand who fixed my top without my permission. Um, you forgot this top. And gave the cyber top. I don't need it anymore. Why don't you use it as a decoration for that boring dome? So what were you grumbling about? Huh. Well, my navy, of course. I have to find some way of converting my easily broken navy into a more durable model. Ah, I just don't know enough about navies to do the job. That little man sure gets mad a lot. He's such a typical craftsman. I kind of feel sorry for him. He's working so hard just to get along with his grandson. Yeah. As a fellow net battler, I wish I could help him out. What should I do? Man, let's go check out that net battle club you mentioned. Oh yeah, the club formed by old net battlers. Let's give it a shot. Hang on for a second, I'll search for some info. I got it. They get together at ACDC Park. Alright, let's go Mega Man. ACDC. So much running around. So many old people. <laughs> Come from the north and all of a sudden we're at the bottom. Excuse me, is this the meeting of the Net Battle Club? Yes, it is, Sonny. Oh my, you sure are a young one. Um, I wanted to ask you about Tensuke. Oh, that's the old man. Well, I can understand wanting to get along better with one's grandson, but Tensuke has always made fun of us. Well, he wants our help. He needs your help. He's serious. What should we do? I can't turn him down, an earnest young boy like this one. We're getting soft in our old age. Hmm, what do you think of that? 
Oh my, yes, that sounds fun. All right, we'll help out. Really? There's a catch. It's Net Battle Club rule number seven. Never assist those without enthusiasm. That's the rule. If you want the assistance of the Net Battle Club, first you'll have to pass her test and prove you're worthy. Of course I will. And your test will be running around the net for the next hour. How about it? Sounds like you just made that up, but we're enthusiastic. Very well. All our navvies will hide around the town area, of course. You'll have to find them all and answer the questions. If you succeed, I'll give Tensei Game my navvy building info. Okay, let's go, Mega Man. Leave it to me. Heh <laughs> heh. This will be a fun way to kill some time. Hey, you're talking kind of loud. Yeah. Padding thy name is Mega Man Battle Network 4. Hundred bucks, woo! my thing. Fight absolutely nothing. So we're not inside the home pages. One bee could be good. We don't have a lot of bees now.
forgot where these stupid navvies hanging out at. There's like, what, four of them? I haven't found one yet. I'd say they're in the town area. Seriously, where the hell is you guys? Also, they're all hanging out like at the end of the. Maybe they're all together. Where we gotta find one, then the next one shows up and rinse and repeat. <laughs> Hey, when they stand behind one another. Yeah, a lot of, uh, I mean, it's Capcom, right? Capcom was also Breath of Fire, so they just kept their currency through all their uh, games. It's like, hmm, we can't use Yen, so it's just Zen. <laughs> Close enough. It's like using Gil for Gilder or whatever, or Gull instead of Gold, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's the Mega Man Battle Network collection. That was going rich. So I get all the uh, all the cool stuff. Like I can turn the Buster Max mode on, or I can have all these patch cards if I wanted to just break the game. I, I put a few on just because the game gets annoying, <laughs> annoyingly sloggy. Like I didn't put any of the HP boost ones, but but one that just increases my charge attack power. It's just really annoying. Is this one of them? Hey, you youngster. Care to take my quiz? Here's the question. What goes up the chimney? What goes up the chimney down? But can't go up... Can't go down the chimney up. Santa? What goes up the chimney down? Wait, what? I can't go down the chimney up. I don't know. Smoke? I don't know. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you have to do a fucking... Ugh. Left, right, left, right. Alright then, go. So annoying. La Mulana. Ah, oh, much better. Oh, go that dang card factor. Here, take this in appreciation. 
Secret one. Okay, at least this was the first guy I didn't miss anybody. <laughs> you had to slap him in the back a few hundred times. Nothing's used this spot yet. late part of the net. Could have saved myself some time. Watching with such a young navvy makes me feel young. <laughs> Let's go. Here's the question. I go round in circles, but always straight ahead. Never complain, no matter where I am led. What am I? A wheel. That's right. I lost. How nice to be young. Here, take this. Secret two. <clears throat> It's like eight scenarios total for each tourney between two games. It sounds super annoying. Yeah, I don't think I want to see any more scenarios. These scenarios are super annoying. One thing is for sure, this game is definitely not making one of them. Definitely, definitely not making one play the other version. <laughs> I'm too old to match you physically, but I'm not too old to match wits. Here's the question. Brothers and sisters, I have none, but that man's father... What? That's not a sentence. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I have none, but that man's father, dot... Is my father's son. That man's father is my father's son. That man's father is my father's son. Here, answer. Who is it? It's me? What? I don't know. Ho ho ho! There goes that crick in my shoulder. We're gonna do that. Here, take this little present. One more. You gonna find places? Where, okay, I see what you mean. Like that big circle that has nothing there. Yeah. I gotcha. No, I broke the thing. Must find the unlockers.
Yeah, I would want to play this game three times. I mean, if I would ever play it a second time, I would instantly turn on this Buster Max mode on. Play the other times, because, yeah, screw that. By another HP memory, ten thousand. Yeah, it's an okay game, but it's definitely no Mega Man Battle Network three. <laughs> Fourth time. Learned a lot of stuff in my long, long life. Ready? Here's the question: I build up castles. I tear down mountains. I make some men blind, help others to see. What am I, Sand? Oh, you got it. You beat me. Although Sand doesn't really make glass. <laughs> I can tell you're at the top of your game. Here, take this. You earned it. I think the Chief would meet with you. Chief? Chief of the Net Battle Club, of course. He'll teach you the most important thing about making navvies. I think Chief to promise to help Tensuke. Yep, that's the final test. I think Chief's Navi is in ECDC somewhere. This key will let you it get in to see the Navi. Here, take it. The membership. Didn't hit a thing. You know, one, one thing I haven't seen in a long time is that, uh, like, I accidentally unequip it. Yeah, the duo. I haven't seen duo in forever. Both of those get dodged. It's DC, but like... What's that? We're in ACDC. Navi's and be the chief. Hmm. 
Barrier 10 seems like so useless. <laughs> Confusing, like it's saying is Navi is in, in the ACDC town, but the the town is ACDC town. It's not they're not talking about the town. Well, I'm assuming the the town square thing, like in in the net or something. But saying he's in ACDC ACDC town doesn't make any sense because his Navi wouldn't be in the actual physical town. Unless he's like hanging out in one of these other objects inside the town or something. That's just super confusing. It's gotta be somewhere on the net because we got like a. So I think, I think the the fact they're saying ACDC town is confusing. It's probably some localization issue because they never call it ACDC town inside the actual like the net. They call it like town area or whatever. Okay, well this one they call it ACDC area. This one. There we go. <laughs> Run away. Nothing. Should save first. Oh, it's you. Have a minute? Here, you've been working on behalf of Tensuke. Respect that, but I want you to know I can't help you. Look, no offense, but I'd like you to leave here now. Oh god, not these freaking ball things. This is the worst. Is going a little far. But she did say we couldn't give him any advice. Why can't you just accept Tensuke? My chief and Tensuke have always been at odds. You always fight about work. Yeah, but still, I can tell by your expression that Tensuke means business. Hang on one moment. Beep, beep, beep. Hello, it's me. Who else do you think we'd call? I want to talk about your operator. Tell him to come to Elect Town Square right now. Tell him to stop whining and come down immediately. Operators and navvies both at the same time. Anyway, the chief has agreed to meet Tensuke. That's all I can do. It's up to the two of them now. 
That's enough, don't you think? Nice work. Confused. Go to look town again. So much running around. Hey, JW. Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> it's really rough. Definitely the worst of the, uh, of the th four games I've played so far by far. Arg, stubborn old man. Stop stealing, stalling. Give me the advice. What are you blabbering about, you stubborn old man? You want some advice you can get along with your grandson? You've got two Dr. Wowies now. After making fun of Ned Battles all that time, you asked too much. What the? There are two Tensukes. Are they twins? Anyway, we gotta stop them. That's why old man's old man's who can only make kites are trouble. Go fly away somewhere with your kite. Hum. Who are you to talk? All you can do is make tops. Why don't you go spin off somewhere with your tops? Hey, calm down, you two. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Every time you do one thing, it's like, all right, go to the net, go find this random dude in the middle of the net. Oh, you come back. Oh, now you gotta go back to the net and go find some other random dude. Oh, you come back. All right, now go back to the net, go find some other random dude. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tensuke. I got the data from the net battle club. Data you need for making navvies. Look. I gave secret one through secret four. Yeah, no time for this now. Today's the day to make him mend his ways. Another thing. And another thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. I can't tell which is which. One has a red hat trim, one has a blue hat trim, obviously. Hey, you guys, come down already. And hang in there. Yeah, well, if you're gonna go that far, here, take it. Chief Gate Tensuke, how to make navvies. If you lose with this, I'll make fun of you forever. Yeah, bring it on. Don't let my overwhelming victory blow you away. Victory, Luz? What's this about? Oh, no. Man, the match is about to start. Yeah, I'm sure that book that he just got is going to be given more than enough time to repair his navy and fix it up for the match. Alright, we're in trouble. What do you think you're looking at? Get out of here. Yeah, pretty much everything in this tournament is like, it's like... Oh, time for a tournament. Oh, wait, before you do that, though, we got to have you run around for like an hour. Do some other random shit. Really looking forward to seeing you kick some butt. Hey, so you're going to the finals. You go, boy. So tournament's over after the next battle. Too bad. Let's go kick some my yes. At last, everyone com the competitors are finally here. First grade school net battler LAN. His opponent. Tournament's oldest participant. Tensuke, 68 years old net battler. Huh? The oldest? Tensuke? What? Oh my god, Top Man's owner is the top maker? Who would have thunk? You're kidding. Yeah. 
What a twist. All this time we've been helping our opponent. It's Tensuke. Tensuke is our opponent. Whoa, it's you. Imagine that. Ha <laughs> ha What are the odds? About one? Did you fix your navy? Huh. Don't you worry. I know, right? I more than fixed it. It's better than ever. Thanks for all your help, but this is a battle. Hope you're ready. Heh. <laughs> This'll be a fun battle. Yeah, no way you're gonna beat me. Boy, get ready to see what craftsmen's can do. Go get him now, new top man. Looks like he's in... He's got like a... Ha! <laughs> he's got a cane and everything. I'm not too old to beat young navvies. Are you ready for this? <laughs> that is very special. Yeah, I can see that. It's a battle of the generations. They're over 50 years apart. Let's begin. I mean, isn't he 68? I don't think we're more than 60 years apart. <laughs> How old is Lan? He's in, what, grade 6? Lin versus Tensuke. Battle routine set. Execute. Go nuts. Not special good, yeah. It was like a split second too late to get to him. Oh, pain in the ass. Yeah, the uh, well, I'm playing the uh, the Battle Network collection, which. I mean, you, you have the choice of, like, you know, putting filters on everything, but th there's no option for the text, so the text is, like, automatically, like, high resolution, which just stands out with all the rest of the the pixel art, everything else. <laughs> it's just just really, really, I don't like it. I would have been nice if uh, they gave us the option of, of keeping the original text, but, you know. And it's the winner. There's other random things that are just, like, high resolution for no apparent reason. We did it. Dang, that was close. Bit of a good fight, Tensuke. Too bad I didn't win in front of my brother and grandson, but I have no regrets. Hey boy, next time we fight, I'm gonna polarize you. Heh <laughs> I look forward to it. Got that clapping sound, oh, it's so loud. Great job, Tensuke. You're a hero to all of us elderly in that battlers. <clears throat> mm 
You guys. Grandpa. You suck. I like kites, not Grandpa. <laughs> I hate tops. You're amazing. Show me your net battle techniques. Hello, Kosuke. Top Man was great, too. Tops really are amazing. Ah, tee hee hee. Stop it. You're embarrassing me. So, Grandpa, I just want to say I'm sorry for calling you your tops boring. Heh. I may have lost, but uh, what a great fight. I want to thank you, too. That last bit of advice was really useful. Pour your heart into your Navi. That's how I was able to finish Top Man. Navi is like your alter ego. It was my craftsman's soul that gave Top Man his power. I'm glad you understood. Grandpa, show me how to spin a top. Sure. <laughs> Bottoms are cool, too. Yep. After the, After the storm, a calm... Yahoo! All our hard work paid off. What are you talking about? Couldn't you tell from this battle? Your navy is no match for my top man. Hey, don't get cocky. <laughs> Said cocky, because he had a good fight. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Your friendship is strong enough to survive a fight. Ah uh, well, at least they got their health. Having defeated many tough opponents, the tournament's winner is a 6th grade student, only age 11. It's Landon Mega Man. Everyone, a big round of applause for the winners. Hooray! We did it, Mega Man. Tournament winners. Yep, we did it all right. Let's now interview the tournament winner. Congratulations, how do you feel about winning, Land? Eh, it sucks. I'm very happy. But I couldn't have done it on my own. If it wasn't for Mega Man, none of this would have been possible. Oh, Lan. So victory belongs to both of you. Let's have another round of applause for our victors. Now the tournament organizer will present Lan with the tournament trophy. A tournament winnings of 100 zenny. Looks like, looks like he's holding a gun, like a ray gun of some kind. I was spellbound by your battle skills. Congratulations. Thanks, uh, I mean, thank you very much. I got trophy. You and Mega Man must have a very tight bond of trust. If you keep getting better as you grow, you'll surely become the Electopia Tramp. Once again, congratulations. And thus, land became the the battler champion to be continued. Great, it's Elon Musk again. Huh? Strange reaction. Maybe this asteroid. Hehehe. <laughs> Doctor Regal going out. Something just came to mind. Huh? Don't mind me. I'll be right back. He's totally not evil at all. Nothing suspicious going on here. Nothing at all. A week has passed since the Den Battle Tournament. The town had returned to normal. Huh? What's up, Lan? You've been acting strange all week. I wonder. Yes, yeah, the dark chip. I've got during the tournament. You have to get rid of it quickly. That's right, Higsby told us to do that. Hmm. Megman, have you been feeling okay lately? Yeah, you know, he's, he's the, the... He's a scientist from, like, the militaristic nation, X nation. Or nation X, or whatever the hell it's called. He's totally at war at everybody, with everybody, but, you know, eh, they're totally fine. Yeah, I know, right? You think they would have just, like, thrown it in, in the garbage, but no... Yeah, no problem. It's fit as a fiddle. I was afraid that dark ship could damage you. Things be said so, and that worries me. If we're going to get rid of the ship. Where can we do it? We gotta go to Mordor to get rid of it, obviously. 
Can't just throw away a dangerous chip anywhere. Why don't you give it to Shode next time you see him? As an official net battler, he'll know what to do. Maybe you're right. But seeing as it has no effect on you so far, let's wait a while. Plan. Hey, Mail. Don't you hate me? Whenever I talk to you at school lately, all I get back is, uh, or huh. Your sullen answers make me worry that something was wrong. I'm sorry. I've had a lot to think about over the last week. But I'm fine now. Silly boy. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. And something very cool is going on in the town area. Wanna go see? Yeah, okay. Good. Come by my house later. Well, we could just check in from my room. <laughs> just sounds so wrong every time they say this. I know, but I have something for you. I'll be waiting. Uh, okay. She wants you to jack in on, in her room, obviously. I wonder what's wrong with her. Yeah, I wonder. I suppose I should go get her. Len, you got mail. The Topia Net Battle Association. We are pleased to announce our hosting of the Eagle Tournament to determine the strongest net battler in Lactopia. We invite you to enter an end. We'll contact you with details at a later date. You've got mail? Yeah, pretty much right. Got a Battle Network 5 on DS. Is Battle Network 5 on DS? Okay, I think I, I think I might have that one. No, no. I might just keep playing the uh, special version here, but... Battle Network 5 Double Team DS. <laughs> Two games in one. Yeah, I guess we'll have to play that one when we get to Battle Network 5. I mean, I'll, I'll probably just end up playing the uh, the collection. I mean, might as well. I wonder if you. I wonder if they have like the uh, the double team version in the battle in the in the collection. I didn't even check. But 6 isn't on the uh, DS, is it? Which is weird. <laughs> so they put the re they re released 5, but they didn't. Like 6 is like, nah, we're not gonna release 6. <laughs> Screw 6. You can make one Star Force 2. One of those third editions where special features didn't make it to the collections. Mm. And I've got the DS version, so I might as well play it then when we get to it. Yeah, I guess they just they probably just wanted something for the DS's release. Something like that. Let's 
It's like we gotta we gotta plug in a game right here in the DS. Sure glad that Higsby's back. I just couldn't run the whole store of myself. Chips are really packed in your ups. Oh, trying to talk to Higsby. Welcome, huh? Spreader ill, panel return, life sink. Makes enemies HP same. Get on. Hi, Cannon. Cub 120J. Long Blade L. Super Vulcan. 12 shot Vulcan Cannon. That'd be good with Gutspan. It's like. How, how much damage did that do? Maybe like 40. Yeah, 40 times 12. I would wreck like anything. Man, have you heard of the free tournaments? Nope. And I'll tell you about them. You can start a tournament by loading a friend's Navi data with a communication cable into that free BBS over there. You win, you can get stuff from Higsby's shop. It's fun, you should try it. Walk battle, Navi is in the waiting room. Do you want to start a free tournament? New. No. Waiting room. Public match. It's like Navi's. Any Navi's? Looking for a Gus Man entry. Looking for a roll entry. Let's get some entries. Any Navi entries are okay. So you just go online and just like dump some navvies in there they are like already in a waiting room or something. Guess that's not how it works. Can't remember the funny place coming in density. Lynn, you're amazing at that tournament. Hello, rolls in town area three on the net. You go too, Mega Man. Here, use this. Let's go. Man, hello, hello. Would you like to link your HP with this one? Doing so would create a link between the sites. I'll allow you to jump from one site to the other. Would you like to create a link? Or... Here, take the banner for this site. Let's go ahead and create the link on this side. Okay. It's a titty bear. I create one for Guts Man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Quest number three. Although I guess this isn't Town 3, this is ACDC 3. Gotta go deeper. Area one must go deep. Gets Aqua Soul. Yeah, Good Soul is decent. I mean, when, if I if I build the deck around it specifically, it's probably gonna be pretty OP. But it's not gonna have enough stuff to really build around it right now. It's not super worried about it. Yeah, it does. Oh, where's the damn trophies in this thing? <laughs> well, these are the PS5 notifications. Yeah. Loading, loading, loading. Any day now. Any day now. PS5, you know, super fast. Yeah, so you get like... Of course, it's like the entire collection, right? So you get ones where you have to like beat each version and stuff like that. So you got to complete like both versions of each game. Seems like most people play the Red Sun version, looking at this. 11%, 11.5% of people play beat Red Sun, but only 8% beat Blue Moon. Red Sun seems to be the preferred one. Like every standard ship, 4.5%. Man, yeah, you definitely have to, like, work on that one.
think Red Sun scenarios are a bit more fun. Oh yeah. Well, so far all the scenarios have been pretty obnoxious, so... Ten three. Hear that theme park will be built in density. I heard it I would see something cool, but what could it be? Hi Mega. Hey Roll. Have you heard? Density's first theme park is gonna be open soon. Really? That sounds cool. We're promoting the theme park here. Oh, so that's what you were talking about. On Trails 3. Man, I don't know. <laughs> the other Legend of Heroes game is going to be interesting. <laughs> if it's anything like the first one. It's starting. Hi, everybody. Density's first theme park will be known as... Castillo. Yeah, we know. Uh, I've, been to the, I've been to the actual door and even said Castillo's theme park. For kids and grown-ups alike, it's packed with excitement. We have a special invitation for all here today. Whoa. Mm. One who can defeat three of my viruses will win a pair of free pass for Castillo. So who's ready to accept my challenge? Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> Should be like, wink, wink. Huh? Am I missing something? Roll. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Say no more. Lan, I think Roll wants me to accept the challenge. Same here. Looks like we don't have much of a choice. We don't. Accept your ch challenge. We're okay to battle. You can whenever you're ready. Good luck, Mega. Save. You ready? Sure. The winner of the battle will go on to Castillo. Can he defeat these viruses? What fate awaits our challenger? Time to find out is finally here. Battle routine set. Execute. One down. <laughs> God, these frickin' balls. These are like stronger versions of these balls. It's the worst. <laughs> Missed everything. easier because they give you like a little bit of time stuff going on. Oh, freaking hell. Hate the balls. Thank you. 
dumped them both. Nothing. Look at hell. These balls are the worst. Yeah, we did it. Whoa, amazing, amazing. Congratulations, you completed the challenge in style. Please accept these Castello free pass. Well done, the theme park opens in three days. Why not come with your little friend? Mega, you did it. All right, we're going with the eye. Yep, Mega Man. Go with male waters, maybe you should just jack out. Roger. Bro, you coming? Okay. Unbelievable. Phew, this busting skill is almost frightening. Here, I believe this is what you wanted. And gave free pass. Yes, thank you. Will you be going with Yai? Well, uh, um... I'd kind of like to go, too. Maybe I'll get Dan to bring me. Well, we could... That noise! Our heist alarm! That was an alarm. Something's wrong. Mama's on her own. Let's go! Mail, see you tomorrow. Okay, but don't worry about me. Hurry home. It's your net navy, Doug. Tomorrow, I'm gone already. Yep, it's that, that fake doghouse thing. That's the alarm. Lan, your doghouse alarm is howling. Maybe you should check it out.
<laughs> logs, logs no longer exist. I wouldn't be surprised. The future is bleak. No more man's best friend. Oh, she's dead. She's in the cellar. Is mom in the oven? Erg. Mom? Mom, are you okay? What happened? I was tidying your room, and someone sneaked in. Or being sprayed, but nothing else. Sprayed with what, Mom? Mom? What are we sprayed with? Wait. I think I also remember hearing typing on your PC. Yes, I'm sure of it. Quickly, call the officials. I... Uh... Mom? Stay with me. He's been sprayed with sleeping gas. Let her sleep, Lan. Uh-huh. Sleeping gas. White, sticky sleeping gas. You get whoever did this to her. Yeah, I feel exactly the same. I wonder what the burglar wanted. No money was taken. The room hasn't been disturbed. Yeah, no, usually it looks this, this dirty. I wonder. Mom said that she heard the burglar doing something. Just wait until I get my hands on that burglar. Did Mom say something about your PC? Nope, she said nothing. Mom said... The suspect was messing with your PC, right? Fine. Wait, didn't your mom say something about your PC? There's something on the PC screen. You've been warned, Lan. We can easily do much worse. You don't want those you care for to get hurt more. Bring the dark ship to park area 2. Hey, we can finally get rid of it. Nice. Win-win. How's it going, Avaris? I can get the best ship in the game easily. There, best ship in the game. I also want reflect or delay water. Turn my weapon to a flower. There's the best weapon. That's fine. <laughs> it's not like I'll be playing it anyways. Definitely not going to be playing it. Where are we going? Yeah. Uh, trying to think of the easiest, the quickest way there. Probably from Yai's area. Biggie's so cool. What, what? Why that face? Junk soul. I can activate Search Soul or Thunder Soul. No junk soul for me. It's already worth something about ghosts in the BBS. There aren't really any ghosts in the net, are there? Be afraid to go out in the net alone. Hans, hello, Yai. It's lovely seeing you at the ball. What was Glide? Was he hurt in the net navy attack? Crime seems rampant on the net of late. Please do be careful. Oh, Yai, the navy attack was scary. Speaking of scary, have you heard of the rumor of ghost navies? Apparently ghosts of long-deleted navvies are attacking other navvies and cyber sutras don't work. Hi, Nikaido. Yai's friend Dex. Yai's friend Dex here. Are those ghost stories true? Sounds kind of exciting. I think I'll prowl about the net and see if I can find any. Ah, oh, I don't like ghosts, but if Dex orders me to look around the net, I won't back it down. I just hope my gut's punch worse. 
Hi Dex, it's Nikaido. One rumor has it the ghosts are illusions generated by your own mind, so you have to overcome your own fears to beat them. Hi Nikaido, looks like you and Dex are two of a kind. I've heard about the ghosts too. Apparently they appear at the end of quarters and such. That's part of the, the Battle Network collection. So the Battle Network collection gives you access to all the, the patch cards, which I guess would have been, like in Japan, would have been like e-reader e cards you could have uh, imported onto your, your game. Here you just you could just choose whatever you want. I mean, you can make the game as easy or as hard as you want, really. I, I Like, I, I, down, I put all the special download ships there, like... Because these ones are just cards that you're going to randomly get to show up in your deck anyways. The only one I, the only one I kind of activated just to make it less of a slog is the... Uh, this one I, I put on but I didn't activate. But the um, this one here modifies your charge attack to the Mega N-Bomb. Just to make it a little bit of a, less of a slog. Yeah, the soul is kind of shitty. These other ones are gonna have like, you know, some of these wouldn't be breaking the game. Like having a little bit of extra healing by pressing that and back, you know. Go always be active. Seems like it sounds like it would just, you know, <laughs> make you vulnerable. I, I activated both of these, but I don't know what the hell this does. This Rush Beat Tango thing. I have no idea what this does. I tried activating both of them and didn't see anything obvious happen, so... Activated this to change the color of the pet screen, you know what I mean? Like it's Hey, Canonical. Let's activate this one. White Mega Man. Except it doesn't change the sprite in game. Looks badass, looks like a ninja. So that card's pretty OP, but of course it's, you know, RNG whether it shows up or not. And of course it only affects one one row, so it's very easy for it to miss. Hey Mizema Devant, how's it going? Unite! Not really. For the most part, it's basically the same. I mean, you're basically running around this thing. I mean, you're, you're getting different weapons and whatnot. But in terms of the actual, like, basic gameplay, it's pretty much run around the grid, wait for your, your custom gauge to fill up so you can actually use a special ability. Rinse and repeat. So the, the basic combat is pretty much the same. But just, yeah, some slight tweaks to it every every generation. Like this one has the whole, like, double soul thing as its gim main gimmick. So 
so your like base Mega Man really doesn't seem to get any upgrades at all, except for HP upgrades. Like there's no there's no Buster upgrades I've seen. Like almost nine hours into the game, I've yet to see a Buster upgrade. Other than other than using patch cards, and of course the the Mega the Buster Max mode thing that comes with the uh, special edition. Are we there yet? I haven't seen it yet. This is always like Metroid, like in each version you just like lose all your abilities in the previous one, so you just start like with nothing. There's like a basic set of chips. You gotta rebuild your entire empire again. Have fun. At least five times land throws away everything. Yeah, I know, right? Plus, he, he seems to... It's, it's almost like he forgot everything that happened in the previous games, too. Man, the park area is behind that door. Yes, and there's no other way to get to the park area. Mega Man, is there no way to open it? Let me check. It's pretty strong. Head is a theme park in the private Castello area. Public can't enter yet. Staff, please enter your staff code. Then, looks like we need a password. Well, then we don't have much choice. I got the message. Here it goes. <laughs> yeah, there's a password. Nothing, not even a single scratch. It's stronger than I thought. Hey, you, what are you doing? You're trying to break that door. I can explain, I have to get past. Shut your mouth. You're trying to break into my workplace. Try explain that to the officials. You don't understand. Save your breath. Great, now we're just gonna murder him as well as break and enter.
And alright, probably has a rap sheet a mile long. Great. He'll be okay, now he's dead. Yeah, he's out cold now, but he'll recover soon enough. Hang on, Mega Man. He said that the theme park was his workplace, right? Yeah, I think so. No, no need to be murder him, now we're gonna mug him. <laughs> well then, won't he have a password to open, to open that door? We need his staff code, right? Let's have a look. Breaking and entering... Huh? Could this be the employee code? Looks like it's encoded. I totally forget. <laughs> it was like R A E. Oops. R A E. Uh, J D U K. JDUK. Rage Duck. The mighty Rage Duck. Uh, do you work here? Of course you do. If you didn't, you can get in. Yep, that's how it works. Great, invisible ones now. Are these ones that just like those annoying ones that just come from the top, right? I'm so gonna die. Well, these enemies suck. So enemies are like invulnerable for three quarters of the time. Different charge weapon. Sheeps. Good. Oh God. They keep coming. sucks. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. Huh. 
seems like an ultra annoying enemy. was a mistake. This is the worst. Where you really need to have like buster shot upgrades. <laughs> this is the worst fucking enemy. It's an enemy that you can't like yet you, you have to like hit once to get rid of their shell and then and then attack. Good luck trying to do that. Energy locking me unlocker. I got unlockers. Sick four thousand, man. It's not cheap. Much longer till we open. Gotta get busy. Alright, 12 megabytes we got for 12. Okay. Energy bomb. Moko buses are 14. Get nothing worth 12. Yeah, I haven't seen Duo in like forever. I don't know if it, I think, it seems like it just it no, no longer shows up on my list. Either I've been, either I've been getting it and just not spawning it or. Come on, how did none of those hit that thing? God, this place sucks. For lack of more if that would be any useful. Under three. 
wind rack bug bomb I'm gonna do what bug bomb does Slows him down. Doesn't actually do any damage though. Locker. See if it's worth doing. You know, I thought they would have like added the ability of unlocking that without having to go into your damn sub chips to unlock it. That was wrong. Cust sword B. Cuss gauge equals attack strength. Hey guy, I've got some great junk data. It's called Jet Parts, just 3,000 zennies. It's from Sharo up north. Wanna buy it? Sure. Aww. They almost have enough. Give me an IOU. Nothing. Come with a racket. There's nothing. Are there like charged ones that might be used more useful? Sand ring, Ennard bomb, Thunder tube, Zap ring, Long sword. Oh. 
White Sword, Panel Return, Wood Powder, Black Shock. Yeah, I'll just go back to the one I had. The bombs are always fun. Hundred fifty damage. Way better than this custom sword. I need to pay this guy before I forget. Camber one. That guy seems evil. So you're Mega Man. I trust you've brought the dark chip. Who are you? Why should I answer and have you who's about to be deleted? Activate.
You're as good as I've heard. What do you want? What do you need the Dark Chip? You're from the Dark Chip Syndicate. Nebula. Dark Chip Syndicate Nebula. Yes, following our mighty leader's instruction, we use the Dark Ships to turn the world to the side of evil. So Shade Man is your mighty leader. Hehehe, <laughs> you get strong. Time for talking is over. Get used to it. I'm going to get that Dark Ship back. In the meantime, keep it safe for me. Wait. Sorry, Land. He got away. That's okay. At least we found out where he came from. No, we didn't. <laughs> now that we know the Syndicate is involved, we can't just throw this Dark Ship away anywhere. You're right. Come on, Mega Man. Time to jack out. Roger. Wait, no. I'm not done. Ow. Son of a bitch. Not done exploring. So you dare to come back, do you? We Apologies. You failed to get the dark chip. And to fix Lan and Mega Man. You're useless. We have no need for you in this syndicate. W what? Give me just one more chance. You used up all your chances. We Ah! I You two imbeciles. Now I'll have to take care of this business on my own. We, we, we. Mom, you shouldn't be resting, or shouldn't you be resting in bed? I'm fine now, and someone has to make the dinner. You should rest if you feel unwell. Thanks, Len. Sorry I'm worrying you. That's okay. Len, it's a phone call. Thanks, Mega Man. I can't, he I can't hear, you know, the, the entire thing vibrating. Email, what's up? Huh? This weekend? Wait. What? I thought you were going to the theme park with Yai. To pay me back for rescuing you? That's not necessary. You can say, please, 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 all you like, but... My mom's not feel... I'm fine. You go out and enjoy yourself. Huh? I didn't know you were listening. So she's asking you on a date. <laughs> no, it's not a date. She just wants to go to the theme park together. Alone. Heh <laughs> Len, that's what we call a date. You don't need to worry about me. Any other burglars will get my frying pan on the head. Quickly, tell her that you'll go. Eh, mail. I suppose we can go this weekend. Okay, see you at the entrance to the Castillo. See you. Bye. Hee hee hee. Weekend is fine. Weekend finally comes. Land, get up. You're going to the theme park today. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, oh no. I nearly overslept. Yep, see, Lan is, a, is an RPG protagonist. Basically the same thing as a, uh, as a shonen protagonist. They're, they're as thick as, like... They're as thick as a tree. They can have a harem of girls and not realize that any of them like them. Lan, you've got mail. Literally. I'm counting on you to look after Mom while I'm away. I'm giving you back the navy cast Mom took from you, so you'd stay out of trouble. You remember how to use it, right? I'll explain it just in case. You can add programs to Mega Man by installing and activating this navy cast in your pet. Mega Man will become stronger depending on your programming skill. I'm attaching a couple programs for you to practice with. Also, you may have to switch folders depending on your custom settings, so I'll attach this as well. Under shit. Attack plus one, speed plus one. We got an extra folder. Putting up the trading program. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, he's just been doing under shits everywhere. I know, right? But as usual, dad is gone and his dad is never home. Standby, i.e. he's sleeping. While he's on standby, you can install programs, customizing Mega Man's abilities. Blah 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 blah, yes. Same colors can't be together. Green line programs must be placed within at least one of their squares above this line. patterns programs like this are called plus parts and should not be placed above the command line now then let's install the attack one the 
Okay, but by above the command line, he means like on top of the command line. <laughs> Isn't there like a rotate thing? Let's finish when selling speed one. The third rule, same colored programs must not be placed to each other. The undershirt and speed one have selected the same color. Be careful, they don't touch each other. Stall the program. Run activates the net navy program. When you press run, Mega Man will awaken all the effects of the program installed. Let's run land. Run's complete. Now go see how Mega Man is. Playing the first Dragon Ball Z card RPG. Oh, I, I hear that one's rough. <laughs> yeah, because I hate myself. Uh, I hear that one's pretty rough. Hope he's okay, Mega Man. How do you feel? Uh, huh? Hey, Mega Man. Oof. Morning, Land. Everything is great. I feel even more powerful. Phew. Hey, don't scare me like that. Congratulations. If you get a new program, just install it in the same way. All right. I'm going to make Mega Man the strongest Navi ever. Just be sure to follow the two, the three rules above. If you don't program correctly, a bug will occur. And one more thing. You can't install more than four different colors of the programs at the time. If you install five or more, Mega Man will be overloaded. Get into a bug. The number of program colors currently installed is shown here for your reference. So long as it's inside the frame, you're okay. I got it. Thanks, Ned. Let's close my explanation to the Navi customizer. Look, you two. Your boy color Dragon Ball Z card game has a great music. Oh, yeah. Hooray, it only took us nine hours to be able to, like, have, like, some stat gains. Here. Going to Casillo now. How nice. I wish I could go to. Should go and bust some viruses for cash. I'm on a super Volk. Live stream. The trader looks like Number Man. It's a number trader. It's only found at Higsby's. If you enter an eight-digit lotto number, the winner, the number is a winner. You get a prize. There are lotto numbers hidden all over town. I found one of them. Four, six, two, nine. Two, nine, eight, three. I got an item. Woo. Firebeam G. Flame line G. Eh. It's a large explosion. I think we're good. We'll head down to Luck Town. Castillo. Man, we're almost done. We only have one more place to unlock. <laughs> Game's almost done, man. Ugh, that's a long walk from the station. 
Gramps, what's wrong now? Let's enjoy your date. Hey, Harry. Are you, are you a fan of this one? <laughs> Either talk, taking a break before going back home. There's lots of parents with their kids here. And in every family is always the dad who's the most tired. Our goods are on sale, even in the station. Ready if you forget to buy stuff for people at the park. Feel the cool water from the huge fountain. This is the kind of place people arrange to meet each other. So this is Density's first theme park, huh? Sure is pretty. Daddy, hurry up, let's go in. It's your favorite one. Are you a masochist? <laughs> Sorry, have you been waiting long? No, no. I only got here myself. Okay then, let's go right in. Yes, let's. <laughs> Probably. And that's the entrance. I know, I was going back. It's a map of the theme park. Head is the castle. Mel Square is down the stairs on the right. Looks like something is up. What could it be? Soft toy of the popular character Uncle Andre. It's only hand size, but it's so realistic. It's a bit creepy, but for some reason the girls love it. Candy of popular characters, toys, stationery. There are all kinds of gifts to buy. Deliver too, so you can just keep on buying stuff. Right next to this is the magnificent storm, the ride. Evil magician battles for the water town Rennes with Bzdog. It's a really punchy attraction. On the back is Tin Man Jungle, the ride. It's a high thrill roller coaster in the strange jungle where Tin Man lives. Let's give work to come here today. What do you mean, I, we can't go on rides? Producing the Bzdog. The Bzdog is a dog with special magical powers. It usually fights with its rival, Wiz Monkey. But when they're home, the water town Rennes was attacked by evil magician. The two joined forces. Evil magician's magic soul caused them big problems. The Wiz Dog's nose tracked down the evil magician. The Wiz Monkey attacked him with a scratch. Eventually, they restored peace to Rennes. This is all on a signpost. <laughs> Introducing Tin Man. Tin Man is a steel warrior. He's a robot with no emotion, made for fighting a war. After the war, he lived peacefully in the forest, but he started to have emotion when his bird friend died. At the same time, Tin Man got a sense of guilt. I love how they put these in quotation marks. But his cruel actions in the past war. In order to make amends and to bring joy to children, Tin Man wanted to be taken apart and made into toys. Yeah, it's gruesome. So he went down into the town. Halberd Princess? Halberd Princess was in love with Prince Tomahawk. But because of some evil magic, the prince was trapped inside of a big tree. The princess went alone to the forest with her best axe. Avoiding the magic traps, she got to the prince's tree. She took a mighty... She took a mighty bull at the tree. Not the mighty bull. Good old mighty boy love. And eventually managed to rescue Prince Tomahawk. The two got married and lived happily ever together in happiness. Oops. Under maintenance. Looks like we can't go in. There's a stack. A stand with special snacks on, on the sale. It's a bit pricey, but by being hot and real tasty. Stand's made so you can jack in. Princess Halberd, yep. <laughs> She's a battle axe, alright. Steel is fun. I'm glad I came. What's happened to all the rides? Theme parks are made for humans to enjoy, right? We navvies don't have much to enjoy, just these BBSs. I want to ride some rides. Looks like the new posts. 
Welcome to your theme parks officially open. Welcome to the world of fantasy and fairy tales. This VBS is dedicated to chat and request. Everyone, everyone is welcome to post. This is amazing. I'm gonna try some of the rides. I wanna go too. I wanna be bitten by Wizdog and visit the gift shop. I want the print I want the Halberd Princess's Halberd. Bird is Draki though. He always loses to Django, but never gives up. What is everyone else like? Draki. Tin Man. He's never given emotion, he wouldn't have to suffer. Still, thanks to the emotion, people are kind and gentle. Up here is the Halberd Princess. She's amazing. My favorite scene is when she runs through the Bewitch Forest to save Prince Tomahawk. Women don't always have to be the ones in need of rescuing. I like Wizdog, huh? My favorite scene is when he teams up with his enemy, Wizmonkey, to save the town from an evil sorcerer, huh? I like Draki. Is Draki like the. the Dragon Quest flying bat thing. <laughs> this is my favorite story is Jingle the Solar Boy. Is, isn't that like a game? My parents are going to take me to Castillo tomorrow. Can't wait to shoot him with my Gun Del Sol. Yeah, definitely, definitely from the game. Good old Gun Del Sol. I like Django Takumi. I should go to Vampire Manor. It's filled with scenes of Django fighting vampires. Kids seem to love Django the Solar Boy. Django's weapon, Guntel Soul, is on sale now as a battleship. Here they can absorb light. If the operator is in a place where sunlight reaches, such as outdoors, Guntel Soul's power increases in strength. Do we have to use the, uh, the, the solar panel adapter? I'm worried about all those that went out to look into the maintenance system. Program dealer. Need some program? Sure. HP plus 100. Charge max. Zero damage with back and fast barrier. Mega folder. Pick one more chip. Yep, all those sweet, sweet programs. Psst, kid. What's up? You waste my whole day. What's going on? Everything has stopped. I want to ride the vehicle. What are you talking about? Give me my money back. Regarding the failure of our machines to operate, we have sent an investigative team into Park Area 3. Fortunately, we have lost contact with them. Apologize for any inconvenience. What could have happened to the team we sent to the Park Area 3? What should I do? Oh, the ride stopped? After my coming all this way, hopefully get fixed. I can give you some of my subchips. Take a look. Team is dead, yep. Cramps, we just ate. Oops. I adore it. There's something scratching noise from the inside. Maybe something's got a tiger in there. Something smells good. I think I'll have some lunch. Restaurant, those great smells tease your nose. It's hard not to start drooling. Photo studio. Attractions designed around the park's characters. You can take a photo on it. This will sure make a great memento. Hello, Juliet. Introducing Django, the solar boy. In a crim scarf. Building the solar gun, gun del soul. Solar boy Django battles with vampires, led by Master Otenko, the sun spirit. Came to the eastern town. This is where Django met the ultimate vampire, Draki, and engaged in mortal combat. I don't remember the vampire's name being Draki. Maybe it was, I don't know. They're fighting in Draki's manner. 
a place of darkness where the sunlight did not shine. Even having been injured by Drakis' attacks, Chico somehow fought on, eating apples to keep his strength. Drakis' blood fangs were about to seal Django's fate. But just then, the sun shone through sunlight on Django. Django cried out, Tayo! <laughs> Gundel's solar battery was quickly recharged. Django unleashed one mighty attack, piercing Drakis' heart. After a heroic battle, Django had defeated Draki. The women that Draki had captured were all saved. The town was at peace. But Django's work is never done. As long as vampires still exist in the world. When do we get to get play the second game of that series? Well, I guess it's a good time for some ice cream and rest. My brains aren't working. Yeah, I can't do it. Wasn't popular enough. I mean, it's popular enough to have like three games. If you count Lunar Nights. Sweet cold ice cream. Someone got a question mark. Be done. I guess this one's good enough because they keep walking through it and get hit by it. I guess that kind of works. <clears throat>
hard trying to get new cards. He was like, nah, no, no cards for you. I'm gonna get like a good score. The game just gives me money. I hate that. When I when I want cards, it only gives me money. When I want money, it gives me cards. You just can't win. Shit. I always do that. I <laughs> just miss everything. It's the worst. Stronger variations. Yeah, good thing for my undershirt. So <laughs> I think it saved me there. I would totally have died if it wasn't for the undershirt. Yeah, very slow progress. <laughs> Recommend deleted. Sheeps are the worst. It's really like most weapons are just they'll be they'll block most weapons, which is super annoying. We're done here. <laughs> Refresh my health. I want to get some of these ones I haven't haven't caught yet, like this guy or. I'm not sure what that does when they have like the question mark thing come up. I mean, if you kill them before that happens, something happens. I'm 
know that I have the ability of killing those things before that happens, but... just dodge everything. this place. <laughs> the scene from the popular P Patter Pawn. Pirate Captain Pook betrays Patter Pawn and his friends. It's a fantastic live production. Pirate Tonby's expression of surprise is superb. Good old Patter Pawn. Jack into this thing now, and it'll like let me go into the park area. Try to talk to that guy. Well, thank you. Here, take this. All right. Eight hundred zennies. Kill one of them. I mean, I have all the cheats for this game. It's called the uh, patch cards. There's only one cheat you need for this game: is activating this. Yeah, I don't think I want a harder version of this game. It's 
bad enough. I mean, I guess if you played this game a lot, then you want a little more challenge, I guess, but I think I'm good. I don't care enough about the series to to get hard mode. Punk frags. I'm lost again. Be hiding behind these. I don't have an unlocker. Yeah, I know, right? I would quit on the first day. It's like, screw this shit. Just a little bit every year. This would be so much more annoying if I didn't use the, uh, that, that, like, extra, like, that charge bonus thing, because <laughs> screw this game. <laughs> like, I'm one step away from activating that Mega Buster thing. I oh, know, right? And we could just waltz in.
Just jack into whatever you want. Just jack in anywhere. Yeah, you're a miner. <laughs> First they're gonna do is throw you in a juvie. Totally worth a long path for uh, 300 bucks. <laughs> that explains everything. Yeah, I, st I still haven't seen. Uh, this, this duo one in like super long like I I'm convinced it's something happened where it's, it's just not <laughs> not working anymore it's really weird The blank box AI tools in charge of networks. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty close, right? Just a matter of time. Some someone take care of the systems. Where are viruses? No worries, his wounds aren't serious. More important than that, we gotta take the raids back. the Casillo's control system. Looks like someone's frozen the system. He's purifying. You guessed it. Suddenly a virus jumps out. Well, a virus. The criminal froze the system is broken in. And you handle the operation. Come on it. Let's go, Mega Man. Battle routine set. Execute. The system is back online. What's happening there? Seems to be okay here, too. Time to jack out, Mega Man. Gotcha. What happened, Mega Man? Viruses in the park system was put there on purpose by someone. Hope it's not Nebula's handiwork. Couldn't be. Let's check out. Mail is still waiting. Roger. Must finish exploring first. Got our rides back up and running. Thank you so much. Mighty Shrimp Virus. Oops. <laughs> I like miscalculating where this thing's end up every time. Ocean 3 hadn't come up in the fast forward. Yeah. I don't know. Star Ocean 3, I think, was pretty uh, 
pretty late in the PS2 life cycle, wasn't it? Tony Castillo, hope you enjoy your visit. Exclamation search is what you're looking for. Really? Feels like it's a much later release, just in terms of the design. Big Hammer 1-0! Yeah, 2004. I mean, it's like August, so it been like late 2004. We're still like fairly early in, into the year, but yeah. Next one is like four years later for the PSP, uh, the first version on the PSP. We got a long gap. This comes up with a fast forward. Well, you know, it's one of those like it's one of those like physical release, like licensed games kind of thing. Easy to be juggled, yeah. You can definitely get annoying. Needs more unlockers, but man, those things are expensive at four thousand bucks a pop. Missing. Skip where to come here. I've got to have fun. Looks like the rides are back up. Let's get some ice cream before we go on the rides. Ice cream? Of course, we have to have ice cream in a place like this. You... Do you? Yes, you do. Now, go get me some. What? I have to buy it. Plan. When you're on a date, you have to do stuff like that. That's just the rules of the game. Now, this dating stuff is a pain, huh? What does Mega Man know more about dating in the knee? <laughs> rides, rides! So where should I go next, hmm? The rides are finally running again. Went for some fun. That was some really good ice cream. I wonder what I should ride next. I think I'll skip the vampire manor. That looks scary. Uh, two ice creams, please. Sure, here you are. Huh? You work at the Higsby's? Ah, oh, you're from ACDC Town. Well, I pretended I had a tummy ache so I can come here. Maybe it's better to hear, you know. <laughs> it's only for today. You mustn't tell Higsby, okay? I'll give you a free ice cream for it. Really? Great. Stitching work. I got ice. <laughs> it's not... I just got ice. I gotta make my own cream. You can't say a thing, okay? Don't worry. You trust me, my lips are sealed. Right then, back to males. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the worst, right? Tishing work to work. I guess she's making more money, so whatever. I should pan of them. Wee! I gotta ride all the rides here.
That was delicious, thanks. You're welcome. Luckily, it's free. These dates can get expensive. Okay, Lan. Got ice cream now. Let's go ride the rides. Hee hee. Lan, come on, quickly. Okay, okay. Oh, look at this. I think I'll buy it for Yai. And this, look at the stall, Lan. Don't you think it's cute? Uh, yeah. This is cute. Look at all these people waiting. Well, it is the city's first theme park. This is the line to the bathroom, actually. Lan, we're next. It's our turn. That was great. My heart is still beating like a drum. Ha! <laughs> Let's go on the next one. She just faced through the door. She's a ghost. Wait for me. And so are we. Ah! Wah! Wee! Ha ha! Ah! I've been looking forward to this castle. Still not ready. Let's come back again when it's open. Good idea. Let's come again. Sure, there's still more rides I want to see. I heard the Vampire Manor is pretty scary. It's in Mel Square. Let's go there next. Smell Square? Mel Square. You're silly. Okay, let's go. Good old Smell Square. Wait, mail! Go in there without us. Person of the light is probably a guide here. Having such a freaky person as a guide makes it even more scary. Lan, how about you go in first? Make sure everything is safe. I'll be right behind you. Uh huh. There's a vampire in the coffin with a chilling smile. His twinkling eyes look right this way or terrifying. Can we jack into it? <laughs> Suddenly a weird ghoul comes from the depths of his mouth. A surprise attack throws you off balance. There are some letters on the ghoul's forehead. Letter number... Damn. One four seven six nine seven four five. Vampire hovers in the night sky against the full moon. Looks like it's about to attack. Can't help but flinch. Vampire is hiding behind its cloak. Seems something would pop out. Makes you feel faint. Doesn't really seem to be hiding behind his cloak. Seems to be hiding in front of his cloak. <laughs> Where's Mail? You shouldn't have come in if she's scared. Wah! Whoa! Wow! Okay, th that was Mail, right? So she's gone ahead and have to finish it alone. That's right. Don't get too scared, Lan. I'm scared already. Look, it's the Solar Boy Django. <laughs> Fearless Vampire. And the opposing figure of Django, the Solar Boy. Something's flashing at Django's feet. Got a Sun... Sun Del Sol. Gee. Yeah.
Sunshine and appear with button. I don't know how much damage is going to do, but try it out, I guess. Fearless Vampire, the opposing figure of Django, the Solar Boy. It's mirror, oops, for some reason there's an image of a vampire, curious but scary. Django, come to save the princess, kidnapped by Dracky. Just pray for a safe, safe escape. The whole place is coming down! Phew, that was terrifying. Where's mail? Help! Help! What's wrong? The toy robos in Mel Square have gone out of control. They're starting to attack children. Oh no. Hey child, can you go uh, beat up these robots for us, please? Mail! Sir, what do I have to do to stop the toy robo? Jack into it and then press its stop switch. Good, we can jack in. Let's go, Mega Man. Let's go jack into this thing that's, like, about to attack us. Mail, are you okay? I'll save you. Careful, Lan. Don't worry. Jack in, Mega Man. Execute. And he's dead. Mega Man, look for Toy Robo's stop switch. Roger. <laughs> well, obviously, they wouldn't put, like, a physical stop switch. Why would they do that? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Welcome to Halberd Princess's Cyber World. The raft that you will now board will take you along the story of the Halberd Princess. However, with the toy robos running wild, I mean, I don't know what may happen. Stop the toy robo, you'll need to press to flip the switch found deep inside the area. Stop switch should have flipped by itself, but the automatic system seems to have failed. There must be something wrong with that switch. Your journey will be dangerous. Are you sure you want to go? Okay, then let our journey of danger begin. You have like this this fancy ride to get to the switch. They expect people to jack into this. For some reason, Halberd Princess loved a huge axe. However, she had been acting very strange. Always used for wood cutting before. She now used her axe for. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't really want to know. And she also fretted over her appearance. She seemed to be in love with Prince Tomahawk. Such a filthy story. A bit is missing. Ah, I see. The plot doesn't flow correctly. So Toy Robo went berserk. What should I do? The missing bits of story data are under this passage. Put them here and set them on the door to open the path. Yes, I understand. Be careful. Some of the story data is wrong for this plot. Be sure to choose the correct data. Not like the on the rafts, there are a lot of uh, viruses. What is she doing with that axe? Go do this three times, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Found a story entitled Mirror. Take it. Mirror. Comb. Sure. It's four letters, whatever the whole thing was. 
about this wonderful music? Why call the music bad? Story data. Set the story data into the door. Set the correct story, the door will open. For some reason, Albert Princess loved a huge axe. However, she had been acting very strange. Always used for wood cutting before, she now used her axe for a comb. And she also fretted over her appearance. Seemed to be in love with Prince Tomahawk. Huh? There's no response. <laughs> I mean, neither of them seems to make sense. She used her axe for a mirror. It has been deleted. All of it. Uh, I couldn't find the correct story data. I'll only find ones that didn't make sense in this story. I was used for a cutting. She now used her axe for a mirror. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. She also spread it over her appearance. She seemed to be in love with Prince Tomahawk. Yes, we can now go on. Off again. Which was jealous of Halberd Princess' beauty and strength. She kidnapped her beloved tomahawk. She sealed him in a blank. When she heard Halberd Princess depart alone to save her prince, she sealed him in a blank. <laughs> totally missed everything. Big tree. trying to get that thing out of a statue.
success. Wah! I wish she had used her power to create a dense forest, but Halberd Princess used her axe to penetrate deep through the trees. Eventually she came to a huge tree that held Tomahawk. Using the very last of her strength, she unleashed her blank on the huge tree. Before she knew it, the tree had been split in two. Her beloved Tomahawk emerged from within, saying, I have never seen such beauty and power, and a girl. Halberd Princess was taken aback, but first... The princess's warm, bright smile put her at ease. The lovers were then married and live happily ever after. You still think to cure the magical dog? Yep. Deal both these things at the same time is Thank you. Three choices. Lecture. No. Mighty Bull. Yes. It was the Mighty Boy of Love. Remember that. Sturm Kiss. <laughs> she whacked the tree down with a, with a huge stack of Boy Love, of boy love uh, manga. <laughs> that did nothing. Fighting fire with fire. It's made of wood. Wood is made of paper. Wow, the witch uses her power to create a dense forest, but Halber Princess used her axe to penetrate deep through the trees. Eventually, she came to the huge tree that held Tomahawk. Seeing very last of her strength, she unleashed her mighty boy love on the huge tree. Before she knew it, the tree had split into two. The beloved Tomahawk emerged from within, saying, I have never seen such beauty and power in a girl. Her princess was taken aback at first, but the prince's warm, bright smile put her at ease. Lovers then married and then lived happily ever after. I see, this completes the full story. Does it though? We arrived, well done. You know, all the kids are probably dead by now. It's gonna go back outside, it's just gonna be chopped up bits of like. It's just like a fine red mist. Same time, they're pressing the button, the virus started. Great, another virus. Press the button, go! Okay, good. Pressed it in time. <laughs> uh, 
and I press the stop switch. Good, the toy robo seems to have fully stopped. Yeah, sounds like another one is in center square. Let's go, Mega Man. Gotcha. Of these nine sets, Albert has been put away, and all is safe for now. And be careful. You saved me. Wasn't there like four children before? Is the Tin Man? Doesn't look like a Tin Man to me. Or is this the uh, is this the Whiz Dog? The whiz dog. He's baring his teeth and growling as if to attack. dog was a magical dog. He looked like a normal dog, but he was a skilled magician. Although popular in the river town of Rennes, Wizdog had one particular annoyance. His bit of rival was Wiz Monkey, also living in Rennes. Equal in magic skill, they fought like cat and dog, or like monkey and dog, technically. Wiz Cat. Wiz dragons, that'd be way more badass. A friggin' wizard monkey. We're casually going up a waterfall. However, a certain incident required them to cooperate. An evil magician appeared in one day in Rennes. Although they both tried to chase off the wizard, use his blank, and he almost had defeated. Unable to use his magic, they were just a dog and monkey. down the button. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that thing. Bad joke. Magic cell... Probably magic cell. Definitely not a dance. Alright. 
magic cell it is. I think you remember that word. I was reading the other story. Their magic block by the wizard's attack, Wizdog and Wizmonkey are in big trouble. Once their special power has been taken away, their natural animal instincts return to flash. First, Wizdog used the blank, for which dogs are famous, chopping the wizard in a rapid spin. Then Wizmonkey used the monkey's feet to cling to the wizard's face, and his blank attack left the wizard's face in a mess with its two things you have to use. Escape, the wizard turned into a bird and flew away, by cooperating, the two partners had to save Venice. Or when their magical powers had been restored, and they returned to fighting like cat and dog as usual. Two places are missing. That means that two items of the story data are needed. Missing bits are all set in must be all set in place. But please bring two identical bits. Vulcan two. Shots to pierce one panel. Plunge. Good nose. Wizdog and Wizbug are in trouble. First, Wizdog used the good nose, which dogs are famous, trapping the wizard in a rapid spin. I don't know how the hell the nose would have anything to do with that, but. Monkey's speed clings to the wizard's face, and his scratch attack left the wizard's face in the mess. Probably didn't get the good nose right, but we'll see. Apparently, you're right. I don't know how the hell a good nose would turn him to a spin. Huh? Something's... something... that's strange. Is the rack broken? Ah, it moved. Now, now, no need to look so worried. It's perfectly safe on top of the raft. It really is. Made it. Please watch a step. Raid, Mr. J. How's it going, Mr. J? Why'd my bot not auto shout out? Should be auto shouting out. How's it going? What were you playing today, Mr. J? 
They bought sleeping. It does. God, the he the call to awaken. <laughs> How is that one? I think I saw a bit of it. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> slowly but surely. Very slowly but surely. This game's a slog. Same time pressing the button, a virus started. Not a virus. Three or four out of five. That's yeah, not bad. It's an okay game. So that was useless. This sucks. Oh my god. This is a bad area. I can't get close enough to do anything. Yeah, the font still sucks. Now, they should at least give you the option of using, like, default, you know, non-super, like, high-res font. All these suck. I guess it's like all three of them there. I don't know what that does. Stop dodging me! I press the stop switch land. Good, you stopped it. Wow, another one over there. Let's go. Roger. Another one. This one's going to be the... Probably Solar Boy Django or something. I don't know, it's the uh, Tin Man. Still we have motion... Sense of guilt. Spinning head shows that he's at full power. He seems at least threatening of the uh, the different uh, ones. A freaking robot with an axe, and then one with like steel fangs, and then this one's just his head spinning. It's like, oh no, everybody, get out of the way of the spinning head! Let's go. Two man's running on the emotion engine. What's that? Shooting off in the. All of a sudden. Stop, stop, please. Something strange. Feels like we're being watched. It's the sad story of the Robot Tin Man. This robot had originally been built for blank, for war. But now he lived a quiet life alone in the woods. This Robot Tin Man didn't have any emotion. But desiring this gift so much, he, didn't, he often prayed for it.
mag bolts. Worry. Comedy, no. Pride, no. Emotion. Blank was Tin Man's friend, and one day he suddenly became still and lifeless. It was like a bird or something like that. Now cold and without a sign of life, this friend would not reply to any of Tin Man's calls. Even when he used his blank, nothing happened. Uh, I remember what the second part was. Definitely a bird, though. Charge plus one. Zombie friend. Stressor? No. Dance? He I mean, must have used his dance. He wouldn't have used his dresser. That, made no, that makes no sense. Neither does dance, but hey. Okay, I still haven't figured out how the hell this thing works. Sunshine appear with button. I don't know if I maybe I just have to hold down the button. Kind of worked, but I didn't have anything in range, I guess. Under the wrap, there's ah viruses. More viruses. You okay? No verse has ever gotten to the top of the ramp before. But we chased them away, so everything should be fine now. Alright, let's, let's get settled and start on our way.
Without emotion, Tin Man could not understand death. Moved by his plight, God decided to give Tin Man emotion. However, Tin Man had been used in many, many wars, and now, remembering his horrible deeds, he felt deep anguish. To atone for his deeds, he decided to be a blank to make up for his wrongs. He'd make dreams come true. As he left the woods and made for the town, he almost seemed a little happy. Yeah, he basically sacrificed himself so like kids could, could like be ripped apart to turn to toys, which is pretty dark. Right, we got 15 now. Can have the gun death still soul as a default one. I don't know if that's a good idea though. Uh, see, I still have, like where the hell? Whatever happened to Duo? It feels like it's disappeared. I have not seen it like show up in like in many hours at this point. Something broke and it just got removed somehow. I just did. We'll see if that changes anything, because it's really weird. Like, I get the other, like, the, the other powerful one there, the one that, like, attacks things in line and that Z sword, but the duo one? No, it's just gone. Dancer. Three part. I think that's probably right, but let's check the other ones. You got made into toy parts. Viruses. It was tough, but we made it safely. Well done, indeed. Oh, 
dodged everything. So close. <laughs> Lan, yes, it's safe now. Phone call? Hello? Lan, a toy robo has gone to the vampire manor. Okay, I'll be right there. Mail, yeah, stay, stay where you are. I will. Be careful, Lan. I will. Wait there and leave it to me. Mega Man, I have to get over there. The vampire manor quickly. Okay, let's go. So many robots. I saw a Toro Robo going to the Vampire Manor. Then be careful. Ah, it's pitch dark. This is Robo Toy Robo's doing. Let's try to remember the route we took before. God, I don't remember. <laughs> Good idea. Okay, then let's go. Weird fangs and glowing eyes, it looks ready to jump. Lava. Man, this area seems different than the others. Strange, I get a sense of danger. Hmm, something seems out of place to me too. We can't afford to start shaking in our boots here. Okay, let's go. Let's get a move on, Mega Man. Roger. Ah. Mega Man, what's up? I'm not sure. For a second, an evil force seemed to pass through my body. But I'm okay now. Let's keep going. Welcome. This is the Draki Cyber World. This is the story of the Solar Boy versus the Vampire. I heard something about things going crazy outside. But you needn't worry about that. Ready to ride? Should we be on our way then? Time to fold my VOD for <laughs> for this game. For the story. No need to be so startled, tee hee. Chapter 1 Django the Solar Boy carried Gundel's soul, the solar gun, and with the. has been worn by his father. Remember. He set off to defeat vampires. On that same night, the lid of a giant coffin slowly opened. It's dinner time. Having just woken, the evil coffin spread his wings and flew up in the jet black sky. That crimson scarf, that's what it was. Boom. Walsh, Walsh E thirty seven. Guns. No, it's not gun soul. Gun del soul. Near these is correct. It's the closest incorrect one.
chapter two. On his travels, Django met blank. It's like Draki. No, Draki was the vampire. Sun Spirit. Uh, it was it was the Tayo dude. <laughs> what was his name? Decided to travel together. Just a little after starting off. Sun Spirit fell an extraordinary dark power coming from the east. Two travelers then started walking in that direction. Maybe his name was Tayo. Tayo! Wait, we're gonna be sharing a bunch of things. That's what it was. Three. Master Otenko led the way down to the eastern town, and Django then met the town's dreadful vampire. Super vampire Draki was immune to Garlic and Cross. In order to defeat this wicked vampire, Django and Master Otenko broke into Draki's manor. Beating numerous monsters and traps, Django finally got to Draki's chamber. A battle to the death ensued. In a manner where the sunlight does not shine, the vampire was at great dis disadvantage or advantage. Bendil's soul battery was nearly wasted. Django was in tighter spot than ever before. Easy. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Of course not. What was that? It's nothing. You don't need... Don't let it worry you. Tee hee. More story. Wait, what? Huh? Something doesn't seem right. Oh my goodness. It looks like the story has changed somehow. Working conversation. You have to choose the correct storyline. Right, we have to choose the correct storyline here. Help us for Draki's attack. Django eats the solar fruit. Uh, wasn't like an apple or something? Or to gain strength? Yeah. 
Yes, congratulations. At last, the final door. Chapter 4. Draki attacked Django with his bite of certain death. Just one bite of that potency could fell an elephant. Last second, a beam of light cut through Django. Sunlight had come from blank. Django held up the Gundel soul and let out a scream. Blank. Tayo! That's the second part. The solar battery is quickly charged. A single shot pierced Draki's heart. Draki had but a single weak point. That weak point was light of the sun. Draki's body was engulfed in flames. Sure of victory, Django watched on, but suddenly the burning Draki charged a headlong at him. Draki's burnt manner, a vampire's laugh echoed through the silence. Yo. Manhead. Sure, that's the uh, first part. <laughs> Moom. You let mom. Ah, not more viruses. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Hundred and twenty. job. Now oh, shouldn't you hurry to where the switch is located? Tee hee. Tee hee. There's no switch. It's a trap. What? How will we stop the toy robo then? Or will we just use the, the axe from that other robot? Something wrong. Is there no switch? Oh, that switch was a nuisance, so I got rid of it. We That voice it can't be We I'm afraid it is. How do you like how I messed up the story of Django? Solar Boy
we we long time no battle although you look although you took care of my boys did you work out what I want the dark chip of course I'd really love to have it that chip holds a very special data my leader will never forgive me if it's taken from us we great 80 health going into this well not bad you trapped me in the toy Robocop your deletion would surely be delicious. If you just give me that dark ship, I'll spare your life. Already a dark soul is sprouting inside of you. I may actually be able to use you as a member of Nebula. Dark soul? The dark ship is observing you when you're not aware. Quickly, hand over that ship. Time. Give me a little time. Okay, discuss it carefully with your operator. Whee! I'm save. Oop. There was no time at all. Hit start trying to save, but I guess I must have like. <laughs> yeah, he's vulnerable again. He's the gun to the soul. And what just happened there? Dark swords. Hmm. Oh, that worked. I guess it's the whole the whole gimmick in this one. We, we, we so you use your dark powers. We so you have joined with us on the side of dark. Given to the thrill of dark forces, my body will be destroyed, but my dark is now part of your soul. Whenever you see your own dark side, remember me. What do you mean? We. I think you already know. What, what time has come for you to embrace the dark side? I am your father, Mega Man. What? No, that's not true. We. Well, Mega Man's dead after he exploded like two feet away from him. Dark powers. The chip that showed up in my folder it was so strong. No need to worry. Maybe we did use the dark chip. Well, that chip is history now. Oh, well, yes. Let's check out. Beating Shade Man to stop the toy robo out here. Okay, jacking out. Thank goodness. We're so grateful. Luckily, no one was injured. Thanks to you, thanks to you too, miss. But an incident like this just as the theme park opens. I just hope it doesn't keep people away. Me too. It's amazing that no one was hurt. Have you contacted the officials? Yes, we're expecting them just about now. Speak of the devil. Hey, Chode. I let a kid stomp the robots, so it was you then. Sho, what do you know about Nebula? Aha, uh -huh, so was their handiwork. Dark Ship Syndicate Nebula. It is, it is an illegal group that is active all over the world. They've been hiding behind the Triple W in Gospel. Well, they have become very active. Is Nebula a global threat? Yes, Nebula is involved in all types of crime. And they use the Dark Ship's forbidden under network law. But the Syndicate and its boss are shrouded in mystery and probably nastier than Triple W. Shrouded in mystery? You didn't use a dark chip, right? You destroy the body as they control the mind. Navi's maximum HP drops by one whenever he uses a dark chip. HP stolen by a dark chip can never be restored. I doubt you guys would ever res resort to using evil powers. Don't take my warning lightly. Mega Man, your HP go down. Should probably go home now. 
You don't want to get in Chode's way. Uh, yeah, okay. Airship Syndicate Nebula. Well, you know, you use, use a strong power, you're gonna, you know, lose a bunch of HP. But then you can just pop in a, uh, pop in one of those, like, those, the super HP, uh, patch, uh, things there, like 1000 HP. Loosing the Dark Chef and Shade Man has dealt this group a serious blow. I'm assuming that's supposed to be losing. But it allowed us to find something very interesting. Mega Man. They'll provide us with a powerful Dark Soul. Ha ha ha. Wah ha ha ha. Mail from the other day said that the Eagle Tournament starts today, right? Yes, it did. I think it must have been a mistake. Plan, I'm busy right now. Can you get the door, please? Yeah, sure. She's not busy at all. She's literally standing with her hands in front of her. She's staring at the wall. Yes, who is it? Hello, Arrow. Represent the Electopia Net Battle Association. Huh? Just a second. Is it trap? Nice to meet you. Lynn, isn't it? Yes. I've come to give you this. We got one point. Wow. It's amazing. What's this? The battle point. Limbs for the Eagle Tournament simply involve collecting these. They're scattered all over the world and cyber world. You need to get 1,000 points before you enter. <laughs> Doesn't matter how. You just have to collect 50 points. Good God. Qualify for the Eagle Tournament Finals. Collect 50 battle points. Collect 50. Come to the castle in Castillo. Good luck. The explanation was short and sweet, but it looks like I'll just have to collect 50 points, right? Yep. But hang on. If we win this tournament, we'll be the best net battlers in all of Electopia. Wow. We will. We will. Let's go for it. Yeah. Sounds horrible. Oh, did we lose any HP? Because it's, I mean, 330 doesn't seem like we lost one HP. Because it would have been like something like 229 or something weird. So I guess the first time's a freebie. But, you know, I could just like, it's like, hey, boom, what the... I can use it a thousand times for free. And what happens if I, let's say I use, I use one of these chip cards, so I have like 1,000 extra H hit points. I, I use up like all my HP with dark cards, and then I remove that patch. Would, would I suddenly go into a negative? Hmm. Those are for story usage, yeah. Take it down to 1 HP flat. But I'm assuming it doesn't count these patch cards then, because, like I said, I can increase my max HP by 1000, so, with just a patch card, I can easily remove the patch card, unlike, unlike other HP buffs. Although, I guess the same thing with, because uh, you could do that with Navicust as well. I mean, I could. I can have, like, some HP, uh, boosting things, so... Yeah, makes sense. Gotcha. Not like I'll be using them, my man. I need to find a good set of cards, though. These cards are really not cutting it for a lot of battles. But we'll do that tomorrow. I think it's, uh, made some good progress today. Uh, 11 hours of this game. <laughs> Doesn't feel like I've gone anywhere. Seems like I'm still, like, at the beginning of the game, so it's gonna be a long one, probably. So let's, uh, stop the timer there. And, yeah, we're gonna call it there for tonight. So, uh, should be back on tomorrow night, probably around noon or so. And, uh, we'll, we'll play more of this slowly but surely. Make some more progress. Let's see who's online there. We can raid up before we head out. It's online. Oh, we got BPN on. Playing some GameCube 
Die Hard Vendetta, or Die Hard whatever. <laughs> so let's raid up uh, BPN Gaming. We should go from there, so. Everybody have a fantastic night. I'll catch you tomorrow for the continuation of McMahon Bell Network. Great night, guys. See you next time.